Oh boy, the things that I forget. Oh, well, before we get started, I definitely need my kitty mug. Uh, whoa, what, what am I sending? I'm so sorry. I've done this only once before. Oh, everybody, hey. Uh, we're live. Uh, and come watch the Bizarre stream. <laughs> Episode 10. <laughs> yep. I just realized I could just copy and paste what you had last time. Perfect! Update it for 10. Yep, that sends... That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> that sends out whatever else anybody needs. Hello and welcome, everybody. This is the Bizarcus 10th episode, 10th Vanguard of the Vereldium uh, ongoing campaign. I am the DM, Bizarcus, and these are my players. Uh, uh, we have a brand new person in the uh, Vanguard today. This is Rose Kaikai. Kai. Um, who I've had the pleasure of playing Among Us with. She's killed me a few dozen times, and I think I've killed her once. The game that we played, I never was the imposter, but I almost got away with it like ten times. <coughs> so, uh, as you'll see, we have new characters, and if you notice Maresh's token, something different has happened. So, I know in our last stream... Uh, we ended on a little bit of a sour note. But there's always a silver lining, and the sun will rise and set for everyone. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about the stream before we get started. I do things a little bit differently. This is not a rules-as-written 5th edition uh, camp uh, Dungeons & Dragons campaign. This is a lot of homebrew, a lot of playtest, which you'll see a little bit of that today. Um, if you're familiar with Inspiration, I do Inspiration just a little bit differently. These are tarot cards. Uh, every new player that I play with gets one. Since we have two new characters, or, uh, yeah, sorry, two new characters that are up, you two immediately get, uh, a card of inspiration. You can have a maximum of one card of inspiration at any given time. You can spend this in one of four ways. You can either turn it in and re-roll any dice one time. You can gift it to somebody else, and they can re-roll any dice one time. You can force me or the ravenous to re-roll or you can tempt fate and you can tell me to turn one of these cards face up whatever concept is on the other side of this card is going to affect the party at some point during the session there are some real polar opposites on this one side levels you up instantly we roll for hp and boom you get all the uh all the benefits of being one level higher than everybody there's also the antithesis of that you immediately drop to zero hit points, two failed death saving throws, and I make you roll a d20 immediately. There's a lot of the other things in the middle. Sometimes you get some gold. Sometimes you get some, uh, some wealth. Sometimes I take those things away. It all depends. But I'm going to go ahead and give these a little shuffle here for you. Um, if you would like to play, right up here is a very, very simple, thank you very much, Copernican Revolution, uh, very, very simple uh, hyperlink. Man, that took a long time for that word to get to my brain. Uh, hyperlink for you to get to our Discord. There is a giveaway tonight. Our giveaway right now is the Lords of Waterdeep board game. If you would like to enter to win the Lords of Waterdeep board game, join our Discord, go to the giveaways channel, and roll off for it. You roll a single D100, and at the end of today's session, we are going to roll off, or I am going to roll a D100. Whoever is the closest is going to get that prize. <coughs> There's also a way that you, as the caravan, can enjoy this game uh, by not being in the Vanguard or not being our Ravenous. Uh, as you see right down there in your chat room, you're currently gaining Trouble Bubbles. Those are the channel points that you get just by watching the stream. You can turn those in to grant the caravan some wealth, grant the caravan some items, grant the caravan a boon, heal them, or send a, a volley of archers' arrows to damage as many people as possible. Uh, there's good sides and bad sides to a lot of these things, such as nobody ever said that the monsters couldn't get those inspiration cards. And that has been something that uh, people who have played the Ravenous in the past have done. So you can start messing with both the players, the monsters, and me if you decide to do so. The players usually break my brain like once or twice per session. So before we get started, uh, 
Last week was the first week that I have ever in my life experienced a TPK or total party kill. The Vanguard had odd tactics. The Ravenous had 283 messages between themselves in our Discord to plan out exactly how they were going to fight our Vanguard. And because of very, very strong tactics, because of some very, very poor rolling, and because of some very, very interesting, uh, very, very interesting powers that be, unfortunately, three of our players have met the Reaper. Blanc, the Kobold, Cinder, the Blood Witch, and Keisha, the Fighter. Although they have managed a wonderful, wonderful entrance into our game, Blanc, with many episodes showing just how brave a one small kobold can be, Cinder, with her embering wiles, and Keisha, with her absolutely wholesome interactions, leave behind a legacy. In all Rue caravans, there are there is a second, smaller setup that is always set up 90 feet away. And these are for those who have fallen. The bodies are not recovered, but just their memories. And that is where their memories will always have a place to sleep. As the new caravan gets ready, they see the Chevalier rescue unit come running back with Maresh on their backs. Durian Plana, Lumissa, and the rest of the healers run out as fast as possible, putting, dumping all of the healing that they can possibly get into them. Uh, okay, we're going to get to that community goal in just a moment. Uh, as they dump all the healing as possible, Maresh's heart begins to... <laughs> and beats once again. Using the magics that they've gathered through their time in adventuring, and using all of the rituals that they know and have the ability to do so. Maresh's body, though very heavily scarred, is viable and does come back to life. Maresh, as you wake up with a horrid pain down your right shoulder, you notice that there's this gashing red and orange uh, scar that goes from your shoulder down your arm past your chest and onto your side. Though you met the Reaper, he left his mark letting you know that he was here too. So as this fifth caravan gets ready, they hear about what has happened in this, uh, in this mansion, in this place. And they're very, very worried. Although Maresh was one of the first ones to fall, none of the others have returned. And that is when the 10th Vanguard decides to muster, gather, and get ready. And now introducing our 10th Vanguard. Uh, let's start with the resurrected Maresh. Would you please introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. I am Black Irish 19, formerly known as Maresh. A six foot tall water genasi with a brand new marking, shall we say. My eyes are a little more sunken than they were before. My heart is heavy. And uh, another one of our darker players, uh, as in, sorry, let me try that again. Another one of our uh, gothic players is uh, Chrissy. Chrissy, would you be so kind as to introduce yourself? No, darker was accurate. <laughs> um, Chrissy is a full elf female um, broken sadistic cleric that is more interested in reanimating your corpse and preventing you from dying. Mm -hmm. And our uh, Familiar face, however, hiding his face for his own reasons. Uh, Horacenio is back. Horacenio, may you please introduce your new character? Hello again. 
One moment, Horace Enio. It appears that we've lost your audio. Crap. There you go. Now we're <laughs> back. Oh, gotcha. Just reloading. I'll come back to you. Uh, one of our newer players, uh, our newest player, uh, Rose Kai Kai, would you please introduce yourself? Hello. I am Rose Kai Kai. Uh, my character is Breeze. She is an air genasi. Um, you see a tall, slender, light blue skinned air genasi, about 100 years old. And she's kind of newish to the surroundings she's been kind of secluded so she's like in awe of the world around her all right and returning player madigan vaughn i apologize for not putting all of her uh information out however it is a very full name it's two different things and exactly 10 chicken nuggets is very hard to make small <laughs> <laughs> that is all right um madigan vaughn is a middle-aged human uh, woman. She uh, has long robes and is very much a um, uh, the mom friend or the mom of the group, the mother hen of the group. And she carries around um, a large, um, large-ish um, bulldog named Morty Vaughn or Morty Vaughn. Mortimer Vaughn. Morty Vaughn. <laughs> Suddenly forgot my own dog's name. It's okay. It's a very, it's been a very um, dark day. <laughs> Um, Morty's next to you. So that is, is that again. Gives you lovins. Okay. Uh, as we go back around to Horace Senio, how you doing, bud? Oh, no, no, we don't. <laughs> uh -oh. Check one, two. I'll tell you what. Do you want to just pop everything through your computer? It's totally fine if you do. Ah, I may need to cut my face cam. Not a problem. It does happen. It's just a technology issue, and technology is the hardest part of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, which may mess up the the um, things yes, just a did. little bit, but I guess that's okay. That's something that I can be doing in the meantime. So we play each other's characters now, right? Because everything swapped. Because everything around. swapped <laughs> around. That is exactly right. Okay, so while I take care of that. Um, in so that means I'm mannequin. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, just hang on now. All right, uh, technology is the hardest part, and when he pops back in, it's going to be even worse because I can't refix this. Uh, I'll be Morty. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, there he is. Okay, so everything that I just did is mostly useless. Uh, but while I sorry, while I switch everybody <laughs> else around, um, technology, man, it's such a such a wild concept. Um, the Chevalier unit does come back, and as they, uh, as you all are asking around, where's Blanc? Where's, where's Keisha? Where's Cinder? Uh, they just look at you and shake their head. They weren't able to save them. You see Galandin, you see uh, Durian Plana, uh, you see all of your other uh, compatriots doing their best to keep their composure. Uh, but soon after, uh, the remainder of the Rue begin to start carving out the Mamets that are meant to serve as sort of burial dolls for those who have fallen. It is a very, very sad moment for everybody. And as they carve them out, uh, you see Jane and you see, um, you see their daughter, Wendy, coming up to you. And you know what's about to happen and you know it's going to be heartbreaking. As they come and as they bring you um, as they bring you a very distraught looking young lady she is wide eyed wanting to know what happened 
and you can tell that she's expecting very, very bad news. She comes forward to you all. Bright red hair. Her freckles in her cheeks are red and speckled from crying. She brings something out, and she brings out a page. And she said, I... When Kito was here, I wrote this down. It's all I remember. And it was Keisha's very first words to the Vanguard. She wrote them down verbatim. Sadly, she and Jane hug silently, give each of you all a scratch in the back of the head, a big hug. And Jane comes to each one of them, uh, each one of you, and says, Find them and kill them. Love them. And walks away with her daughter, sniffing, sobbing, and back to the rest of the party. So at this time, is there anything that you would like to do inside the caravan before you make your way back to the barrel tour? Is my audio working this time? Perfectly. Okay. So we should oh. first introduce the uh, the one person that comes up behind, rubs the top of uh, of Wendy's head, and moves forward to the rest of the vanguard. Gets himself ready. Gets prepared. Orsenio, you may now introduce yourself. Hello again. I am Horacenio, and today I will be playtesting the new class, which was created by none other than our DM himself, the Physiker. EMP is a Warforged construct made of reinforced iron skin with copper accents, and its eyes and the tubes or coils that simulate his muscles resonate with a bright, vibrant purple energy. Its studded leather armor act as a literal chess piece, and the only piece of clothing that he wears is an iconic white lab coat. Greetings. I am an emergency medical professional, otherwise known as EMP Mark I. My creator heard of the unrest among the caravan and has deemed it necessary to finally dispatch me to aid in the predicament. How may I be of assistance? As you look at uh, as you look at Maresh, you can see his massive uh, necrotic scar going down his side. According to the data I have gathered, a Sir Maresh was the only member that returned from the current mission, whereas Madame Cinder, Keisha, and Sir Blanc have not. It seems the rumors are true. You failed in your mission, and you stand here while the others possibly have perished. Sir Maresh, are you all right? There's no possibly about it. I saw it with my, as my eyes were closing. They're gone. We have to get them back. I agree. Assuming the members are still alive, I would like to find them and treat them. Otherwise, I request that we recover the bodies as it would provide me with material to study. My, fr my friends, we must rally. Those monsters were unlike anything I've ever seen. Oresh, are you sure you're, you're all right to go? I'll have to be. I, was, I wasn't able to do anything to help them. I at least help them move on. I'm sure that you did everything you possibly could, though. But you didn't fail. You met death in Death's Arena and came out victorious. I'm so proud of you. Yes. 
you say that one more time, bud? Your audio didn't go through. Oh, be proud when we get them back. Well. I appreciate your concern. As the others of you uh, witness this exchange, you notice as well that there is a, uh, a looming guilt uh, over Maresh that is not only physical, uh, but very emotional. EMP seems more inquisical than anything else. But Chrissy, Breeze, as you're looking at everybody else, you're like, mm -hmm. okay. It's my turn to do the job, so why not? Is Maresh full health? Yes, he is. Okay. So if there's nothing else that you all are going to be doing um, in the area, I see that the community has just granted uh, Erezever a new spell. So since you all are the vanguard and this happened on your watch, you can have uh, Erezever, your, uh, your master arcanist, learn a new spell from any spell list up to level two. What spell would you like for him to learn? I know. It's a very, very big question. Uh, chat, you can get in on this too, because I think everybody else that's watch that's playing is watching as well. I'm definitely down for suggestions. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't do spells. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> My main is a berserker. <laughs> <laughs> so what exactly does that mean again? You can learn any spell. Uh, any spell from any class, he is able to... Uh, Erezever is your Bolgan wizard that is traveling with you, um, but he is a master arcanist, so he is able to use any spell. What that means is, is that before, dur uh, sometimes during, and after all of your, uh, your sessions, he's able to cast one spell for you. Also, at the end of your session, since he has Identify, I tell you what magic items that you have. Just one spell. I saw Gentle Repose on my spell list. I don't know if we're going to be needing that. <laughs> I've, I've got that one loaded up, too, just okay. in case. It's very possible. I didn't load it up because I'm Chrissy, but um, <laughs> I didn't know if we might need it. <laughs> yeah, any of those divine spells, any of the nature spells from druids or from, uh, from anybody? Sorcerers? Is there an AoE deal? Uh, there's mass healing word, yes. So that is something that you can do before you go. Um, there's spells like aid, which give you uh, temporary hit points. There's armor of Agathis, which give you temporary hit points plus a uh, uh, like a melee shield. Uh, there's mage armor. There's a lot of different spells you can have. Interesting. Haste is third level, I think. Haste is That's healing word is third level also. Yes. Yarn. So well, while we're deciding that. And I have I have healing word. Mm -hmm. Well mass healing word is like for everybody. So Rogue Dragoon has oh, yeah. suggested the Ah spell, which is an actual spell. <laughs> It's a psychic spell that makes uh, characters scream out as loud as possible to reveal their positions. So that's an option. Uh, <laughs> we hear you, Rogue Dragoon. <laughs> so. <laughs> Good to have some fun ones. <laughs> so uh, while this is happening, I'm going to uh, just copy your tokens just to be sure. Um, but then we are going to head into the barrel tour. Before we do that, I'd yes. um, like to say uh, just a few words to everybody about you know how we're going to get this done, and um, it's going to be no issue. We've got everybody here um, doing the Inspiring Leader 
uh, so that everybody gets seven temporary hit points. Yes, you do. Okay, seven temporary hit points by the expiring leader feat uh, from Madigan Vaughn. Awesome. Uh, all right. Boop, boop. That was inspiring and not expiring, right? <laughs> um, a card for Mama Madigan. Oh. Uh, Madigan, do you have an extra card? Small up last time. Use them all up last time? Okay, you have one for this fight. Thank you very thank much, you. Maresh, for being on top of the, uh, or thank you very much, Black Irish, for being on top of the chat. No worries, since Dragoon isn't in here this time. Mm-hmm. Okay. I would, I would um, think, like, Pass Without a Trace would be a good one to learn. They are, he already knows it. No. Yeah. He has okay. Identify and Pass Without a Trace? He has Identify and Pass Without a Trace. I don't think there's any good second level sorcerer spells, so I'll probably go for with healing or extra armor. I'm looking through all of them. Give me wait. There's what? There's what is that? I just saw something. It's good. Healing spirit. <clears throat> you can send a healing spirit with you, as long as it's within a certain. Uh, as long as it's within uh, level one or level two, you can definitely do that. Is that what you would like to do? I'm just throwing out suggestions. This is the things that affect uh, a group of people or a large amount of enemies or a large amount of us. Mm -hmm. uh, what is Healing Spirit exactly? Healing Spirit is uh. you summon a like a healing puppy that runs around, and if you're in the same square as it, uh, it heals you for uh, 1d6. That's interesting. Just keep, yeah. And it keeps happening for, I think, a certain number of d6. Sounds really beneficial. Yeah. <laughs> and that is one of those spells that can be cast during your session and then be sent towards you. Works for me. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Same. Awesome, Patronus. Healing Spirit it is. Um, yeah. All right. So mm -hmm. you all now have Healing Spirit as one of Erezeever's spells. It can be used before, during, or after any of your encounters. Um, does not take an action. You literally just say, it's like, DM, send that healing spirit or something like that. Uh, and then I will create a, a little healing spirit. It'll move a certain number of feet per turn uh, based on what it says in the spell. And then that's it. Yeah, let me tag that for you. Awesome. Thank you so much. So is there anything else you would like to do in town before you move on? I would like to grab that acid edge short, acid edge short sword from the caravan inventory. Does the acid since edge? Since my mall broke last Does time. the acid edge short uh, sword say zero next to it, or does it say one? Uh, it is a zero. Yeah, uh, Blanc okay. took it with him. So that is gone. Ooh. It's gone. Okay, let me relook at this list because her mall broke or her mace broke last uh, time. I played. Can you? Can Madigan use battle axes? Um, martial weapons and simple weapons. You can use the you can use the firebrand maul too if you wanted. Yeah. Oh, I thought I couldn't with that you one. You just can't use a shield. <coughs> oh. Let me think on this for a second. Sorry. No worries. Is anyone grabbing anything else? Um, mm -hmm. You all can go to the carrot. So. Rose Kai Kai, you can go to the caravan inventory inside the Discord, and then anything that has a one or another number next to it, you can use in this uh, in this conflict. Um, but anything that has a zero next to it has been lost in the last fight. Since you all are going back immediately, uh, it is likely that you would be able to find it. But maybe not. I will take the healing potion with face spider blood. Okay. I would take the half plate armor, but the thing is, with being an, uh, a warforged, if I switch out my armor, it takes an hour to take off my chest piece and put another one back on. Because it's since it's literally my chest piece. So, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll stick with what I have for now. Because I don't want to waste two hours. 
Is the battle axe a <clears throat> heavy weapon or something? It's a two-handed weapon, right? A battle axe it's is versatile. Is versatile. <laughs> it's personal. Mm -hmm. um, so it can be one-handed or two-handed. You can you can equip it. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, battle axe it is. I'll go with them all and lose the shield. Okay. You can still have the shield on you, you just can't have it equipped. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Breeze, is there any of those items that are in there that you're interested in? I'm thinking I might want to go ahead and hold on to that marker from the underground. Okay. Maresh, is there any items that you would like to take while Breeze looks through the rest of the items? Uh, just the phase spider healing potion. So remember, it's phase spider blood inside of an empty healing potion bottle. Oh, that was something else. Um, no, 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 no. Never mind on that. Never mind on that. Uh, no. There is one healing potion remaining. I will. T yeah, I'll take that last healing potion then. Good call. Technical question, DM. What's up? Is Firebrand Mall something that's in D and D Beyond? Uh, it is the equivalent of a f of a flame tongue longsword. So yes. Okay. Would I equip the longsword then? Yeah, just just for the time being. So if uh, the flame brand Firebrand Mall, which I've had some issues with my uh, with my publishing. Some things have already been published by other people, and I wasn't aware of that. I just didn't do my research very well. Um, so if you if you pop that up, uh, you should be able to find it. Okay, I did find the flame tongue longsword. Awesome. Just add that. Okay, so flame tongue longsword. That's the exact same thing except slashing damage. So in our heads, we'll just say bludgeoning. Okay. Okay. Um. The plantiers. Spear and the stone. The Palantir oh, spear and the Alfladen stone. Yes. Okay. The Alfladen stone is currently imbued with uh, ice knife, which allows you to cast it one time. Okay. And the Palantir spear is one-handed and a simple weapon, so you can absolutely use it. Uh, its magical capability is that if you know something, uh, if you know someone or something very well, you're able to uh, visually scry upon it. Ironically enough, uh, EMP will take both chaff suspensions. Okay, you got it. Raleigh, thank you so much, man. <laughs> really appreciate that. Awesome. So that is the Palantir Spear. Okay. You guys equip yourself to the teeth and get yourself ready for uh, battle. Will you all be heading out? And will you be heading back? Yes. Yes, on the first question, the second one could be debatable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, as you get ready, you find yourself driven, looking at Maresh and his eyes now becoming darker, more sullen, but very, very determined. You all make your way towards the barrel tour. As you move in through the city, through the death gate, I need everybody to please roll me an insight check. Nice, Rose. Nice. Okay. So, as you all are going through, Chrissy is, for the most part, just... Hmm. Hmm. Hello. Uh, Madigan is trying to comfort Maresh. However, 
those two, or sorry, those three, Maresh, Horsenio, and Breeze, or sorry, what am I saying? Sorry, everybody's got their names in different or or orders, so it's tricky for me to read it. Uh, Maresh, uh, EMP, and Breeze um, are looking at the guards, and you notice that they're all very surprised when they see Maresh leading the charge. They look over and it's like, hey, 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 hey. Some fun. And they whisper behind their arms like, oh, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, you all are back. Uh, what happened to, uh, what happened to you there, uh, uh Genasi guy? Eh? Looking pretty rough there, boy. There were some unexpected difficulties in our mission. Oh! The MP is gonna step forward. He died. Oh, you don't say. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's bad. What, what about the rest of you? We're going back to get the others. Oh, okay, okay. We don't okay. want to leave anyone behind. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ah. Uh, no worries. Uh, yeah, yeah, you should go, should go back and try to find them, uh, yeah, it's in the it's in the mansion. Yeah, up up north, the old uh, the old Biblio mansion. Yeah. I failed my insight check, but can Christy do something to confirm what I'm thinking? <laughs> I don't know how to ask this question. Just go ahead and say um, it. You are still, you know, Raleigh NYC, still playing the game, so you can absolutely do so. Well, Christy's very intentionally looking at their body language. Is she getting the impression that? They're uncomfortable with the fact that he's still alive, like they expected that he would be dead. Roll me an inside check. Inside. <laughs> <laughs> you are so upset that they're paying more attention to him than you? That's sweet Jesus. All that you want to do is just go over, wrap them by the head. And then that's as far as you get before they start to like uh, tap on each other. So it's like, uh, uh, if you all need to go on in, go on ahead. Yeah, you probably need some supplies and things like that. Uh, why don't you go and talk to the Biblios and let them know that, you know, things didn't work out the way you said and you're going back and trying to fix things. I'm sure that they'd be a little bit forgiven. You know, they're the, re they're the relig religious type. Yeah. I think I would like to go and speak to what was her name? Raimi Biblio again. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. She'd be in the Citadel as always. You know, just doing her thing. Go on in. Go on in. Go on. Everybody gets to go. Go on. Uh, do you all keep going or do you continue the conversation? I'll go in. I'll head to the Citadel. Okay. Yeah, uh, no EMP will follow along. But he asks the question, uh, Excuse me, but could you enlighten me with something? He's asking the party. What are we doing in town? Sturma Resh has provided us with all the information we needed in regards to where the mansion is and what foes we are facing. Why are we facing... Why are we wasting time in town when people are out there hurting? Uh, metagame notes. So, you guys are posted out to the south of Barrel Tour, and the mansion is through Barrel Tour towards the north, and there's no other way to get through aside from crossing rivers. So, this is the most, right, this is the most direct route, to... but just so that everybody's aware of that, because not everybody may be. Okay. So, the question still stands. Why are you wasting time? I've got a bone to pick. With who? With the lady Biblio, I feel I feel she knew more than than she let on previously. But is that worth addressing at this moment? Perhaps you're right. May have a point, Marash. Fine. We do need to go and get their bodies back. I'll deal with her later. 
Facebook. I assure you, I mean no offense. I just wanted to clarify some things. No, you're right. I'll take my rage out on the monster. Yes, I want to go and get my little turtle friend. This talking thing is adorable. <laughs> so, um, as you all continue uh, your travels north, Maresh fuming with anger, and the rest of you trying to keep everything in, in line, uh, you keep passing through different people that are looking out and are very surprised at what they see. Uh, as you come next to uh, the dog and duck and find the knock knockers out front all looking like they're just sharing some pipe tobacco and uh, a drink on their veranda uh, you see Parpy come up forward and he's like hi hi no Keisha Parpy. Keisha hello Keisha is dead <laughs> We're gonna go get Keisha, Parpy. I love this talking thing we have. I'm going to go up to Arpy and kind of wrap my arms around Arpy. <laughs> he, since he, I was also f that type of friend. He dives into like a, a sob, like just like a very, very ugly cry into your into your chest piece. Then he says. Did I say something wrong? And he comes back and he says, <laughs> and he hands you what is uh, a large bottle. Me? Hands who? Uh, hands Breeze, a large bottle. Okay. I take the bottle. And he should find him. I will. I will bring him back. It appears I made a mistake. That was inaccurate. He should may be dead. <laughs> Any ugly cries back into the bar? Oh, Parpy. I say to Marish you. Died too. <laughs> <laughs> I say to um, EMP that. The humans have issues with death. They don't deal with it very well. But death is natural, is it not? Oh, of course it is. It's beautiful, actually, but some of them are just really sensitive about it. I see. I will take this into account. So as you're central in the town, you will need to move farther north. Uh, is there anything else you would like to do with the dog and duck before you move on? Is... Is our Warforge, like, flesh and metal? Yes. I remember you said something War, about... Warforge are more like cyborgs. They're not like complete metal robots. So don't think, um, don't think Star Wars... He's not fully a robot. Yeah, yeah don't think... Some, some people play it differently. I didn't know, because he described it as having, like, sinewy connective parts. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, Chrissy's fascinated with, with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a, think of it like a ghost in a shell, but not the show because that's copywritten. Um, but think of it more like uh, these are mostly the parts of someone who used to be alive, but a lot of them had to or were chosen to become inorganic. So although they are forged in uh, for warfare, uh, a lot of the warforged are simply those who have lost their physical bodies up to a certain point. However, their spirits from question. Me. Go ahead. I may have missed it in the introduction. Um, does EMP have any particular pronoun? Uh, I've been referring to sometimes him or it, either or. Thank you very much for asking. I just want to make sure I get it right. Me too. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Uh, so since you all are central in uh in this area. You are going to eventually pass Vorgas and you must pass the Citadel in order to reach the north. Is there anything that you are going to do at Vorgas, uh, who is the metalsmith? Uh, and is there anything you're going to do at the Citadel? Uh, 
EMP sees no reason, so EMP's main focus is just getting to the mansion. Okay. Madigan is of the same mind. Freezes as well. Okay. I'm just waiting to go. As I pocket the bottle that I was given. Okay. Nothing for me. So you do so. Uh, as you pocket the bottle. Um, roll me a perception check, please. Everybody? Uh, just Breeze. <laughs> so Breeze, you being a druid, and you being a little bit more in tune with nature, um, as you are smelling and seeing what's in this bottle, it's not a bottle that's full of liquid. It is a bottle that's full of something that's powdery. This is the first time you've ever seen it. And that's as far as you get. Okay. Okay. So, um, are, so you all are skipping Borgas entirely? Yep. Okay, you're skipping Borgas. And as you pass by the Citadel, I want for every single one of you to please roll me a perception check. <clears throat> Bless you. Perception. Okay. I'm thinking. Um, Resh, you're still. You and Madigan are still uh, side by side, just looking straight, knowing exactly where you have to go and guiding the way. EMP, Breeze, and Chrissy, however, are noticing that a lot of those who are in uh, robes of Clangadin come out. Um, from around the sides, and they notice and stop working the moment that they see Maresh. One or two of them do come up to you. Uh, one of them comes up and starts fiddling with something on the back of EMP's neck. And they're like, why do you not have one of these? Are, are you broken? Oh. Jeez. Thanks so much. Thank you very, very much, guys. Uh, but he's saying this to you all. Um, and he's saying it directly to EMP as he's, like, fiddling with something behind your neck. I have one of what? I apologize, uh, child. But this is only for those of Klangadin. This being what? The matter you're speaking of is only for what? It's only a matter for Klangadin. You are not a part of the cloth. You would not understand. No offense. So your religion gives you permission to walk up to a total stranger and start fiddling with his neck? What do you mean, total stranger? Do you know this thing? <sighs> Echelon, what is your designation? We are heading towards the mansion. That is not what I asked. Echelon, what is your designation? Healing. That is not what... Who? Chrissy is Who going to very sort of step in between them. Just kind of like stepping in front of EMP with a, can I help you kind of look on your face? Uh, I see. I understand what this person is asking of me. Roll me a perception. Uh, not a perception. Roll me an intimidation check, please, Chrissy. Roll me an intelligence Ooh. check, please. Um, uh, b -b 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 EMP. Uh. Would Maresh and I know that this is happening? Yes. Or would we see yes, it? Yes, you just weren't aware of it um, as they were coming by. Can I assist Chrissy? Just by like stepping up behind, yeah, like I'm a little, as I'm a support. Scary, you know. I should be scary all by myself. How would you do so? <laughs> Assisting uh, from here? Yeah, just just kind of like stepping up right, right behind as support. Like, yeah, what she said, kind of thing. Oh, got it. So like, you're you're like the buddies, the like yeah. yeah, totally get it. <laughs> uh, sure, uh, Chrissy, roll me a uh, roll me another intimidation check. We're gonna take the higher of your two. Okay. Okay. So as that happens, you see the other one that's next to him. It's like, not, not the same. Let's go. Cool. 
come on. And he's like, this one doesn't respect. We'll be back. Oh, we're here. And he uh, walks off huffing. And he, you see the other guy just uh, put his arms in front of him and sort of scoot him. He's like, come on, let's go, come on. Where, where are you going? We were just about to have some fun. <clears throat> uh, as that happens, you hear behind you a very slimy, very familiar voice. Maresh, I see you're half the man you used to be. Maybe I should have put my blessing away from your back and on your side. Very funny. You failed. Unfortunately so. I only he did not fail. I only hire those who can perform the tasks that they're given. You have failed. Please never show your face in the citadel again. And she, Why is everyone in this town a dick? And she walks off. What was her name, Marish? That was Raimi Bibli. I'll remember that. Is that the one you wanted to see? It was. But I'll deal with her later. Can I be there? Of course. Sounds like such fun. We'll make quick work of this and come back here. The EMP off. goes, she was not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um, what? So after rolling the 23 for the intelligence check, what exactly were they asking? They were trying to find something on the back of your neck. There's nothing there. You know your body better than anybody. You help build it. And there's nothing there for them to... There, It felt like they were trying to flip a switch. Ah, okay. Mm. Hmm. So, uh, with that, um, knowledge domain. As our Ravenous, as the one who is going to be controlling all of the monsters, uh, I am going to be putting you on the map you know oh so well. And as you all begin your travels, you eventually make it to that fateful place where you have lost your friends. You all will find yourselves in the middle of the map staring down this onerous mansion. You can still see the damage that you've done to the front door, to the window, and you can see in. You can still smell the blood. So, What are you all going to do now that you're here? I will warn everyone. Be careful. These creatures like to slither out of nowhere. Watch your surroundings. Do you think they're all here still alive? We'll find out. I would like to believe that they still are. Until no, I not, not, not them, the creatures. Same goes for that. Roll me a wisdom check, oh. please. Uh, Maresh. Me? Maresh. Um. You only remember two of them falling. We are killing these rolls tonight. Some of you are. I was incapacitated of the battle. I did go down. Speaking of, I need for everybody to please roll me initiative. Okay. Knowledge domain, you should be able to see your characters. Please roll initiative for them as well. 
Well, you got the exact same roll as my wisdom. <laughs> Great. And now I roll high. <laughs> wow. Now I roll low. <laughs> it happens. Nobody can be uh, awesome all the time. Yep, he's just happy that he made it to the mansion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least he didn't get a nat one on something else. The night's still young. Those out now. <laughs> Damn. Yes. I am getting an error in the beyond twenty. No worries. Um, so when that happens, I am just going to add your turn manually. What did you roll for initiative? Sixteen. Sixteen. Got it. Okay. 16. This is very, like, Terminator music. Oh. Yeah, I figured it'd be I good for an I infiltration. I remember what I did wrong. No worries. Uh, I'm here. I'm going to master this dungeon for you. So, Chrissy, you see this oh, large place in front of you. The door is smashed open. What are you going to do? Does it seem eerily quiet outside? Do I hear stirring inside? Can I roll in a perception? Of some Absolutely. Kind? Roll me a perception check to hear. Okay. You hear something happening inside. It sounds like a loud banging. Metal against metal. Like combat banging? More like a workshop. Hmm. Is there are there are there any windows here in the front? There's area? a window that is towards the uh, towards the southeastern side that has been smashed and blown out. There is a massive amount of debris on the other side and a little bit of cindering and a little bit sorry, wrong words embering, and a little bit of uh, of charred shrapnel that has came from an explosion. Uh, you also can see in pretty far, and you also see what appears to be a greenhouse uh, towards the left that goes up all the way up yeah. to the second floor. Is, is the window that smashed over here by this area? Yes, it is. Or no, it is not. It's towards the southeast. Right side. Oh. All right. So here. Yes. <laughs> With there's a the large, bloody... Okay, um, I can't make it over. Well, I can if I dash. Can I dash over to here and sort of try to stealthily pick a side and peek in? Uh, you absolutely can. And as you do, give me just a second. I'm going to zoom in really quick so I don't give away too much on the stream. Uh, you can see... into what appears to be a study through the exploded uh, through the exploded wall and a door towards the north this way you also can see straight through the other side and it appears to be a long hallway this door that is uh, here towards the north I will ping it for you right here is also smashed But I see nothing stirring in this room. I see nothing stirring, <laughs> but you see a lot of coagulated blood. Um, I'm going to say, it seems to be clear over here, but I don't see anyone. Okay, that is your turn. Madigan, it is your now your turn. I would like to, um, if I just say something really quickly without expecting a response, is that bonus action? Free action. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn back to the others and say, if I can't see you, I can't save you. Not going to go far, but I'm going to move forward a little bit closer to where Chrissy is. Okay. And how far can I go? That far. Okay. And I would like to cast Detect Magic. Okay. You now 
detect magic active around you on 30 feet. And you are concentrating. Yeah. Okay. I think that is going to be it. Got it. Breeze, it is now your turn. I'm going to move up full movement, 30 feet. Okay. Towards Madigan. Got it. And then... Would you like for me to move you up 30 feet? Yes, please. Got it. Sorry. No worries, <laughs> I got you. First time using all of this. No worries. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I will help you too, and you can also just tell me what you want to do. Just, and remind me, movement is an action, or was it a free So action? you get a movement, an action, and a bonus action. So if you would like okay. to move again, you can spend an action to simply move again. Or you can prepare yourself with a spell like Mage Armor or Sentry or Druid Bark Skin if you have it. Just things like that. What would you like to do? I actually think I am going to second level cast Levitate. Ooh. Okay. From with the thought of hearing what um, Naresh had said, and tried to be off the ground. Okay. What is uh, how high are you going? Um. I am going to just. Let's just do t 10 feet. All right, got it. So I'm just going to change your name so that I can see that you are 10 feet in the air. Uh, that's just for me, okay? Okay, so you cast level, uh, Levitate and you are 10 feet up. Uh, so you can only go up to 20 feet uh, as per the spell. So just keep that in mind as you're moving forward. Uh, okay. Vblublik, Kanaku, you may now move. Maresh, it is your turn. I'm going to move up my full... Okay, your movement. And ready the action. Uh, let's see. Chrissy, or uh, five. Got it. EMP, then Chrissy, then Madigan Vaughn, then Breeze. Think about what you guys are going to plan on doing on your next turn. And uh, if you have any questions in the meantime, when your turn comes, get those ready for me, okay? All right, so you're preparing Firebolt if anything that is uh, aggressive comes out. Well, now that I've seen the creatures, I prepare it so that if I see them start to come out, Sure. If they're within range and it's a threatening creature, um, you know what they look like. So uh, you can fire on them if you see one. Right. Okay. All right. And that'll be Okay. It. Ekrim, Kloblo, you may now move. EMP, it is now your turn. Let's see. Um... Okay. EMP is going to move 30 feet. 30 feet forward and just have, sure why not, he'll have his darts ready if he sees something move. Okay. I'm not too pedantic whether it's, uh, you know, which I, which weapon that you have in your hand. Um, those are old Pathfinder rules and it's a lot more fun. It's like, I have them, so why can't I use them? I'm not going to worry too much about that. So if you want to ready a dart, if you see something, you toss it. That's totally fine. 
but I'm not too worried about if you switch between weapons. Uh, it just can't be, I have a two-handed uh, hammer, and then I really quickly put a shield and a sword. And, uh, oh, okay. So that's, that's a little too much. But if you have like a shield, and then you throw a dart, and then you have a sword, then you throw a dart, and then you have a sword, I'm pretty okay with that. Got it. Okay, so actually, you're preparing. Point, yeah, and point of order, actually, levitate is on another creature, not on myself. One creature or loose object of your choice. It's not. It can be you. Okay. You can cho you can always choose yourself. Yeah. But that's very lovely that you have such an altruistic mind that just is like. But it says another creature. <laughs> It can't be me. I must do this for someone else. Uh, Chrissy, it is now your turn. I am going to cast Invisibility on myself. Okay. Uh, you are now invisible. <clears throat> and... Wow. <laughs> am I able to get through this window, like physically get in the room? Is your dexterity score above 10? Uh, sure. Let's see. Uh, uh yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that is no problem. Uh, so let's see. I'm gonna go over here. Okay. Can, do I still have line of sight? even partially on the rest of the group from that position. They all have line of sight on you. It was a large bay window on the other side, and now you can see into the other room. Okay. That's what you see. Still don't see anything going on. Nope. Um, what you can see is you can see a poker table that is in front of you. Uh, this poker table you can see very clearly has four crossbows that are pointed to the center of the poker table. Roll me a perception check. Oh, they, they can't see me, by the way, because I'm invisible. Yes. Ooh, good. Yeah. Uh, you've played poker. There are five hands on that table, not four. Is that uncommon? There are four crossbows. There are five hands. Oh, do I see any crossbows where I you am? You do. You see them up in the ceiling. You see one of them here, one of them here, another one here, and another one here. They're hanging like on a rag or something? They are up above and pointed down towards the table at angles. Uh, well, that's wonderful. Um... I'm going to, I can't do much more in this round. I'm going to ready each one of these. I'm going to ready a chill touch if I see, um, if I see one of them getting attacked, one of the party getting attacked, I'll ready a chill touch. Copy that. Madigan, it is now your turn. Breeze, you're on deck. Think about what you want to do in your next turn or any questions. I would like to use my channel divinity. Um, okay. For force word. Uh, so that um, radiation marine blue field of magical energy wraps around uh, I mean, the allies. Um, oh, I thought it said for one hour, for one minute. Well, we'll still go with it. Um, okay, you still want to do it for one minute? Yeah. Okay, can you keep a track yeah. of how many mm -hmm. rounds go by? One round is six seconds. And any, yeah. any ally within okay. 30 feet of you. So I am going to give you a 30-foot aura. Give me just a second. There you go. So it says action time one hour. So is that something that I wouldn't be able to do right now? I, I misunderstood. thought it was one action and it lasts for one hour. Did you do anything on the trip up? Um, Cast any spells? No. Okay. I'm okay with that. It would take you about an hour to get through all Thanks. of Barrel Tour. So we'll just say that the entire time you were just down and praying. It's like, it's okay, Maresh. Aminu, but whatever your God's prayers. 
Apparently, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, and I'm just gonna move forward a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But not enough for anyone to leave that circle. So whenever a friendly creature within 30 feet of you takes damage, you don't have to see them. It, they just have to be within 30 feet of you. So this is the ultimate please do not split the party bubble. Yes. I love what you've just done. <laughs> Can I give you... But, buddy system. Would you like an inspiration card? Uh, sure, I'll flip over the one that I currently have. Okay. Uh, roll me a d8. Okay, um, add seven to your hit points. You just drew the card that levels you up. Ooh, <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. Nice. <laughs> so I have, to, I have to cover the booby, but uh, that is the world card. Um, and if you draw it, it instantly levels you up. So this is out of play for the rest of the game. But uh, yeah, go ahead and level yourself up to level five. Congratulations. And, uh, Thank you. Add those level wow. three spells real quick. Yeah. <laughs> and and you said, uh, how many to my... Seven. Um, I rolled a seven. Seven. Thank you. So when we level up, I make sure to do um, uh, HP rolls. Uh, you will roll one, and I will roll one, and then we pick whichever is the highest. This way, it's sort of like having advantage on your uh, HP rolls. The guy who plays Leo Fender actually Thank taught you. me that. Nice. He is awesome. He is awesome. I miss him. Uh, so, uh, as you take care of that, that is your action. Do you want to move anymore? Uh, no, I'm just going to stay what I'm doing right now. Copy that. Breeze, it is now your turn. Okay. Well, as I'm reading this, it says that I can only move by pushing or pulling against a fixed object or surface. <laughs> help. But I have rope, so I am going to toss some of the rope towards Madigan, and I'm going to be like a little balloon. Okay. <laughs> so as you become a really cute, innocent balloon, you toss the rope over, and she sort of reels you in. Um, where do you want Madigan to pull you? I want to stay within her bubble. So let's move. guessing you can pretty much move anywhere within the circle at this point okay if you're just sort of just getting swung around by madigan i want to stay next to madigan you got it so you bring up close and then she grabs onto your ankle and just, woo and you're now stuck not stuck just planted uh okay so that's that i'll say that that's your movement action because that's adorable as hell uh do you want an action <laughs> Um. So don't forget, levitation is concentration. So if you cast another spell that's concentration, you will lose levitate. Right, right. No, I don't. It's okay. Uh, you can always hold an action. Uh, do you have any cantrips that are usable, or do you have a long-range weapon? Oh. I have Druidcraft and Gust as a cantrip. Well, you have Gust as a cantrip. So I will say that you can sort of like oh, let yeah, the I air out of the balloon to just sort of like... <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. puff you a little bit. It will take your action to move, but that will count. And then you'll just sort of like have velocity as you like. You're a, you're yeah. you're that movie Gravity, where you're just like, pff, pff, just like yeah. puffing yourself forward. So that's something that you can do in your next turn. Um, 
So why don't we say for now that this is where you are. You are now a, a breeze balloon uh, that Madigan has hold of. And you guys are, for the most part, just keeping close. Does that sound good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Vublublik. Um, Go ahead. Would I also be able to bonus action summon my spirit totem? Uh, sure. What is your spirit totem? Going cute with what I even see, just as an expan- example, a unicorn. <laughs> okay, a uh, unicorn. Google images <laughs> as fast as I can. <laughs> oh, these are all really expensive. Um, forget it. That's just some guy who made a horse. Uh, uh, this is the first one that I found. And this is the one that we're gonna we're gonna use. So give me just a moment. So I guess the themes of these past episodes are what animals can we make the Zarkis <laughs> put on the table? Yeah, just <laughs> super quickly. The more random, the better. You guys are real good at. That. Um, so it will be now. Uh, you will get this box. It is now a unicorn. Uh, so what does this totem specifically do? Oh, that's a lot of text. Wow. Oh, wow. Unicorn, oh, thank God it's at the bottom. Okay. The unicorn spirit lends its protection to those nearby. You and your allies gain advantage on all ability checks made to detect creatures in the spirit's aura, uh, which I'll figure out that what out in just a moment. In addition, you cast a spell using a spell slot that restores hit points to any creature inside or outside the aura. Each creature of your choice in the aura also regains hit points equal to your druid level. So you are a... You have created a, a healing node. I dig it. Wow. Okay. Uh, so that is your turn. Uh, Vubublik Kanaku. Uh, you may move or act if you wish. If you act, just send in the roll. Uh, Maresh, it is now your turn. I'm going to move right up here. Okay. And I will send an air bolt through the door to try and lure them out. Okay. Um... It's obviously going to go through, so... Roll me a... Roll me a charisma check. Uh, if there are any monsters near where he is throwing that uh, bolt, Maresh, please ping where you're going to be doing so. Uh, if there's any monsters that is near that area, um, you now know right where through. Maresh must be. Uh, right through. Yeah, Breeze, here. don't put that mark on you. That's that's a that's a very bad mark. I know. I'm trying. I'm, I was trying to see how far I need to be. No worries. It happens. Uh, yeah, I'm having trouble bringing up a unicorn. So, none for me today. <laughs> that red uh, that red square is your unicorn, and the spirit is 60 feet. Oh, aura is 30 foot. So I will make a 30 foot aura for a thing. <clears throat> and I was going to put that where I can try to get as many of us in it as possible. Which is where? Because um, I want to have the aura around all of us. So maybe at the edge... I know EMP will move up too, so maybe at the edge towards Christy. Okay, one moment. Of Madigan's, like on the edge of Madigan's circle. Well, don't don't worry too much about Christy. I don't think anyone knows where she is right now. Oh, that's right. You're in okay. Her. You're just gonna get a magical elk because that's the only thing that I have that's close enough right now. <laughs> <laughs> the elk is back, ladies and uh, gents. Yeah, so you just get a big elk. Um. That's the first thing that I saw that was that fast. Okay, so 30. And I'm just going to make this be controlled by you, uh, Breeze. So that is your totem. Uh, it's got a 30-foot aura. 
I'm going to change this color to green. Or change this color to something nicer than yellow. Uh, nice and blue. There. So that's a nice healing color. Cool? Okay. Awesome. So you can move it if you uh, if you want to, but the moment that you're, that um, Chrissy's turn comes up, uh, that's where it is. Or sorry, the moment that EMP's turn comes up, that's where it is. Maresh, you just fired your shot. Ekrim, Kloblo. If you are going to move, go ahead and do so. If you are going to make an attack, go ahead and do your thing. Uh, bizarre, because I can't see the uh, the blue circle on my screen. Is that something only she can see? Mm, hang on. Oh yeah, the the aura. I got it. Give me a minute. There you go. There it is. There we go. Alright, let me get the let me make sure that Madigan Vaughn has a aura too. I think she does, but I'm just gonna triple check. She does. I do see mine. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So Ekrim Kloblo, if you have moved, awesome. EMP, it is now your turn. So EMP is gonna move here. And actually we'll do like Rainbow Six style. He's gonna move a second a little bit. Right here to this door. Okay, you slice the pie. And as you look in, uh, you see the fireplace. Roll me a intelligence check, please, or a survival check, whichever is more, uh, whichever is best for you. Be intelligence. Okay. As you're looking in and as you're seeing that fire, that fire, uh, the wood that is burning right now um, is maybe halfway burned. So you think that fire was set up maybe about an hour or two ago? Oh. Okay. My kitty mug is empty. Oh no. Uh, I'm getting the sarcasm mug. And when the others get near me, that's when I'll let them know. But for now, uh, EMP will keep silent. Okay. You do so. Chrissy, it is now your turn. Are there any bolts in the crossbows that I see in this room? Let me a perception check, please. I couldn't just see that. Perception. From the way and the height that they are, you can't actually tell, but each one of them does look cocked. Oh, great. Wonderful. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to uh, movement and dash all the way back to Madigan. Okay. And I'm going to say, it's me. I'm standing next to you. I'm invisible. Um, the house seems clear in the front, but I haven't ventured anywhere past. Okay. Everybody seems to be moving toward the center. Um, but we'll we'll keep an eye out. Okay. And that's the exchange that you all are able to get within your turn. Uh, Madigan, it is now your turn. Breeze, you're on deck. So think about what you want to do. How high up is Breeze from Ten me? feet. Ten feet. Okay. I am going to, sorry, I just had it. Um, okay, I'm gonna cast Shield of Faith on Maresh with my bonus action. Okay, Maresh gets a Shield of Faith. Is that concentration or does it just happen? Uh, that one is, I think that one is concentration. So I'm gonna drop my Detect Magic. Got it. Okay, so Maresh, you get a shield of faith. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's a plus two to your AC. Just remember that uh, if anything comes your way. All right. Yeah, I was going to do something else, but that's also concentration. So I am just going to ready. Um, ready a sacred flame as my action in case anything pops out. Understood. Got it. Breeze is now... And I'll move forward just a little bit. Okay, gotcha. Go ahead and move forward. And go a little bit. Are you pulling Breeze along with you? She did give you that balloon tether. 
much distance do I have on the tether? 50 feet. All ropes are in 50 foot segments. Okay, I'll, I'll just give it about five, four, five more feet of slack. Um, so she doesn't have to come immediately with me, um, but I'll just move about 15 feet ahead. Okay. She is five feet behind you. Breeze, it is now your turn. What do you want to do? Maresh, you're on deck, followed by EMP and Chrissy. Um. I'm going to. Mm-hmm. You maintain concentration. In your action. I almost want to throw my spear in towards the center. You want to throw your spear? I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just... I, I have to get an action from you. Or I have, I'm going to have to skip you. I'm sorry. Go ahead and skip Okay. Because I can't think. No worries. Um, just think about what you're going to do in, in the interim. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to interrupt when uh, the monster's turns pop up. Or if you have any questions of like, if I could do this, what do I need to do? I'm, I'm here for you. So let me let me answer as many things as possible. Um, Okay, Vublublik Kanakao. If you choose to move, you may do so. If you choose to act, uh, send me the rolls. Maresh, it is now your turn. I'm going to move right up here to the door. Okay. And peer inside. Uh, you do so. As you look in, you see where there was a massive battle happening right here. And you can see all the fresh blood. Are they close enough for EMP to let them know about the fire? Uh, absolutely. Okay. So, EMP basically just lets them know that someone else is here. Hmm. With that knowledge, I'm gonna shoot a ray of frost and put out the fire. Okay. You... <laughs> and you... And a massive amount of smoke starts coming out from the flame, or starts coming out from the fireplace. Uh, the ten-foot area around the fireplace is now obscured, so it creates a small smoke screen. That'll be it for me. Okay, Ekrim, Kloblo, if you wish to move, if you wish to act, you may do so. EMP, it is now your turn. Dunk on it. Stay. Sorry. Light cues are being funny. You are fire. There you go. I'm probably just gonna keep it safe. I want to push forward, but I don't want to venture too far away. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna have EMP step inside and just fill it to the corner. Okay. And he'll ready his action. Which is? If anything gets near. If anything that's near him, um, he'll swing his rap rapier. Got it. All right. Uh, rapier attack. If anything is close, Chrissy, it is now your turn. I'm going to movement and dash all the way here. But as I'm passing the boys and the girls, I'm going to say, I'm here. I'm invisible. Don't worry. I haven't gone far. And I'm gonna sort of just kind of hide right here in the corner, okay. in case something happens. Uh, that was movement action. So a bonus a action. Do I have a bonus a action? 
I do not have a bonus action, so I have nothing to, to, to ready. I'm just going to wait. Okay. Uh, Madigan, it is now your turn. Breeze, you're on deck. I'm going to move in for my action out between Maresh and Chrissy. Okay. And just see if I can notice anything around the room that seems... Um, I, I I don't know. I um, like any blood, any any signs other than the fire of of recent activity, anything knocked over. Uh, yeah, in this room over here, there's lots of blood. Uh, you can also see that there's drag marks that are coming uh and heading towards the north. Heading into that room and toward the north. Uh, yes. Most of them are inside that room, and a lot of them are headed north. You see uh, three different drag marks and a few different puddles of, like, silvery goo. I'm going to use the rest of my movement just to step a little bit closer. Okay. Like, to the edge of the door. All right, you do so. Um, are you bringing Breeze along with you? Um. <laughs> yes? Okay. Actually, with the cantrip, I can move myself. So I'm willing to, to let go at any point if you want. Yeah. You can go ahead. That way you don't have to worry about where I'm going. Okay. So the rope becomes slack. Madigan, you are in there uh, without a balloon. Vublublik, Kanaku. You may move or act if you wish. Maresh, it is now your turn. I'll move up right next to Madigan here. Okay. And can I see everything she does now? Uh, you can see everything that she does now, and it brings you back to a very traumatic experience with you. This is where you died. Well then. Since I can now see these silvery puddles, I'll shoot a firebolt at the closest one. Okay. You... And as you watch it, it ignites almost as if you were igniting uh, uh, a dozen candles. Roll me an intelligence check. You're pretty sure that whatever these things are, are weak to fire. And then I'll let them know these creatures, they came from puddles like those. Watch your backs. What puddles do you see? You see like silvery bits of, uh, of gooey liquid on the ground. He fired, he fire bolted uh, one of them. And he, you all see it just and explode up uh, as though you were lighting uh, gasoline. Fantasy gasoline. Is that like in this yes. room? Fantasy gasoline. Can't use the real thing. There's, there's purists that are going to watch this eventually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is the end of Marisha's turn. Bonus action. Uh, that's it. Okay, gotcha. Ekrim, Kloblo, if you wish to do something, you may. Uh, EMP, it is now your turn. Okay, so EMP will move further into the room. Just survey the scene. Okay. Um, you see a lot of blood. Uh, you see a lot of um, some uh, viscera that's left behind, uh, which looks to be uh, flesh that has been ripped off. And as you notice Maresh's wounds, it may be very similar to what he had, uh, but these unfortunate uh, souls, there's a lot of blood in this room. You're not sure if they're going to make it, or even if they did. But you can see that there were at least four people that died in this area. Okay. And 
The MP will, will just say out loud that death lingers here. And he's gonna move one more step forward. Okay. That's the rest of his action. Gotcha. And, or movement. And yeah, he'll just ready his sword. Whenever. Got it. The blood appears to be, uh, the blood trails appear to be leaving from underneath the door towards your north. Your north side. Chrissy, it is now your turn. <clears throat> I'm going to say to the party, the room to the east, it's a kill box. Be careful. Is the, this door next to me, is that a door? Uh, no, no, it's just a, it's a, it's a map thing. Okay. Uh, then in that case, I'm going to move all the way over here. What? We have too many, like, healing bubbles. Is there anything in this corner? Uh, there is. That's <laughs> it's a Venn diagram. So there looks to be a uh, a writing podium, or somewhere to uh, somewhere to record something, and a large uh, bookshelf full of manuals. Oh, this is a bookshelf right in the yeah. corner. Yeah. What you're looking at and what you're over top of right now is the shattered remains of what once was a uh, table full of books, but right now it's just in pieces. You're also standing into what was a large explosion by a uh, pot full of uh, very destructive powder. Okay. Is the door open in front of EMP? It is not. It is closed. I mean, we've made a lot of noise in the few seconds we've been here, so if there's anything here, they know that we're here. You notice that the pounding of metal that you've that you heard when you initially got here has stopped. There's nothing I could do, but it's gonna take me a long time to do it. I'm just gonna stay where I am, I guess. I'm gonna ready chill touch again if anyone in the party gets attacked. Copy that. Madigan, it is now your turn. Um, seeing Maresh um, light the, the trail of, of fantasy gasoline on fire, <laughs> uh, Madigan's going to pull out that fire brand mall. Okay. Um, uh, <clears throat> for here is the flame tongue longsword. <laughs> and uh, just move up toward EMP and just ready um, a, a, a melee attack if anything uh, a, a aggressive gets close enough. Okay. You got it. So you're ready to smack anything if it gets close enough. Breeze, it is now your turn. You want to use Gust to to sort of push yourself into the room? Um, yes, I do. Uh, I want to go towards the direction of the side that got blown open, I believe. That window. Okay. So you sort of puff yourself in one direction. Uh, and you stop yourself just above the fireplace. Uh, I will say that as you puff yourself, that is your action to get yourself moving. Uh, you puff next to Maresh. Maresh, you're just on the edge of that smoke cloud uh, from the, uh, the, 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 the fireplace. And Hi. then, Breeze, you just shimmy yourself over uh, from the wall. So now that you're in a room with walls and things you can grab onto, I'm not going to say that you're going to need to use your uh, gust anymore. Right. Uh, bonus action. Do you want to use anything for your bonus action? Bonus action. Da, 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 da. I will. Move the spirit or the spirit totem. Okay. Our dear little unicorn. Okay. Uh, how far can it move? Uh, can be moved up to 60 feet as a bonus action. Okay. Um, so go ahead and place it wherever you would like. Uh, I don't think it's going to change anything for what's going to happen next. Uh, the blue blick Kanaku, if you would like to do something, you may. Uh, got it. All right. The first attack is incoming. Um, Maresh, 
the Blublik comes down underneath that smoke screen and that silver puddle comes right behind you and <laughs> you see that slithering tracker find you again uh, I need for you to please roll me a dexterity saving throw did you have something prepared not this time okay. no because I use my uh, firebolt uh, Chrissy you may make an uh, attack of opportunity you roll the natural 20 on your deck save. They do not latch on to you. Um, it just... And it comes and, and dives straight at you. You duck out of the way, and it's like, not this time. Uh, Chrissy makes an attack with Chill Touch. Your, um, your invisibility dies, but it does hit for five points of necrotic damage. Okay. Uh... So that was the blue blick. Is Kanakawa going to do anything? Also going to go after Maresh. Another dexterity saving throw, please. Okay. This one's a four. Do you have a card of inspiration? I do not. Can I give him mine? Yes, you can. So you may roll again. Thank you. Oh, boy. You take 23 points of necrotic damage. And you are grappled. Okay. <sighs> Almost chose the wrong music. That is your turn. Uh, Maresh. Uh... It is now your turn. You are currently being grappled, but you still have full movement. Okay. So I'm grappled by Conacow, not the... The blue blick does not have you grappled. I'm going to put a marker on this guy so that you know which one is grappling you, okay? Okay. And you will have the same marker. Sorry, wrong marker. This one. I'm going Don't to... forget, I did pad your um, I did pad your uh, fire shuriken spell. I did. Then yeah, let's uh, give it a shot. Okay. I will shoot them all towards the blue brick. Towards the blue brick. Or towards Kanakao. Kanakao is the one that is grappling you. Oh, oh yeah, uh, Kanakao. I mean, uh, yeah. Okay. These are all going to be at. Uh, they would normally be a disadvantage because because of the way that your spell is written. You're a sniper. Uh, so roll me six uh, spell attack rolls, and I'll let you know which ones hit, and then you'll roll damage. No, no, wait, 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 wait. At disadvantage, don't forget. Oh, that's So, roll me six at disadvantage. We're going to ignore the first three, okay? Don't forget to hold... It's still not Don't forget to hold shift. Or, sorry, hold uh, control. Yeah, it's still not letting me do it. Like, that's with pretty spell Okay. Attack. Um, roll... One, two, three, four... Uh, roll six more times. 11 and 15, the first one misses. 17 and 8, the second one misses. 20 and 9, the third one misses. 15 and 22, that one hits. 7 and 19, that one misses. So just one of them Just hit. one of them hits. Uh, roll me a single attack. Two points of fire damage. But as you see, it's attack with that fire damage uh, it lights up and it looks like it got hurt way more than you thought it would then I'll use my bonus action to drink that last healing potion okay you do so drink that healing potion Four, five, so seven. Seven points of healing. Quick 
question, What's DM. Um, the damage that, that Marush received, um, was that reduced uh, due to Force Word? I think it'd be a minus four. Let me see it. Takes damage other than psychic damage, yes. So it's equal to your wisdom modifier, which is four? Uh, yes, my wisdom plus Okay, four. so Maresh, heal another four points uh, of health. Okay. Also, where is the unicorn? It's up top. Uh, up in the north. Okay, it's just outside of where you want it to be. And... I don't think the magic unicorn can go through walls. Okay. I I think I think I might have to I think I might have to stop it on that. But um each square is five That's feet. The best sentence. Okay. So it was here. Right. right. <clears throat> the reason being is that if it, if you move it uh, any farther than that. Uh, I need to know exactly where it is based on his healing potion. Okay, there. Okay. So, unicorn spirit in addition, if you cast a spell using a spell slot that restores hit points, okay, so it has to be a spell slot that restores hit points, never mind. Uh, that is that turn. Ekrim, Cloblo, it is now your turns. What are you going to do? Okay, another at, Mar another at Maresh. Maresh, roll me a wisdom check. Uh, it's a 24 to hit. Uh, it will hit. 11 points of bludgeoning damage, minus 4, so it's uh, 7 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, Maresh, you're the target. They seem to only attack the moment that you enter. All right. Um, and the next one is going to attack you as well. There's a seven hit your armor class. Probably not. Nope. Okay. Chrissy, it is now your turn. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> um, the only thing I think I really should do is cast Bane on these four spookers. Okay. <laughs> um, what is the save for that? Okay. So you can choose up to three creatures. Are you cho are you casting at a second level? I'm doing it at second level, okay. yeah. Uh, charisma saving uh, throws. So all of the monsters, 13. please roll me charisma saving throws. Uh, just roll me charisma four times, unless it has a charisma saving throw. First one fails. So Kanaku fails, the blue Blick fails, Cloblo fails, Ekram saves. Uh. All right, so they are baned. Bonus action? Um, I don't have any. I'm going to... I'm going to move right here, here. Okay. Got it. All right. Madigan, it is now your turn. Remember, Breeze is 10 feet up, so if you can in inhabit the same space as her if you needed to. Okay. So, Breeze, you're coming up next, that so think is... about what you want to do for your next turn. Go ahead. I am going to use my bonus action to scroll down <laughs> and use a uh, healing word. Okay. Uh, on... Um, Correct. So that is 10 points of healing right away, and then the unicorn does regains hit points equal to your druid level, so that's four, uh, 14 points total heal to Maresh. I'm at full HP. Alright, you guys kept, I'm gonna kept them alive. Step, 
Okay. The extra, uh, there was a little bit of extra. That doesn't come like temporary HP, does no. it? It's just gone. <laughs> it's just gone. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I'm going to step into uh, the same space as Breeze, but underneath her and okay. uh, make an attack with my um, flamey weapon. All right, who are you attacking? To the one right in front okay. of me. Okay, it is two-handed because it is a maul, but it's going to be ten. Uh, ten points of bludgeoning damage plus eight points of fire damage. Uh, that is, so, minus ten. Minus... Oh. And then minus 16. And that was the Kanaku or Tavu Blue Blick? I probably should have asked that first before I subtracted anything. No problem. I'm just going to ping. Okay, it's him. Got it. Making sure. All right. Uh, this thing is barely keeping its shape. It's looking very, very, very rough. All right. And I believe that's your full turn, correct? Okay. Um, EMP, I am so sorry. I skipped you. Oh, I didn't even notice. I did. I feel real bad about it. <laughs> uh, well, initially, I was going to do a... Would I get two actions this turn to make up for it, or...? <laughs> no, I'm just putting you in, in this part of the initiative <laughs> before the monsters okay. fight. <laughs> okay, so I'll put... Can I move through people? Like around them, because I was thinking of moving here. Uh, there is a. I will say that if you like here first, then if you try to go down. past Maresh and in between Vablublik and Clo and Cloblo, I will allow for an acrobatics check so that you would not get attacks of opportunity. Um, but right okay. now it's it's very it's a very tricky area. Uh, so if you wanted to do a ranged attack, or you can uh sacrifice your bonus action to do a switch which is a five foot switch which means one of a willing creature is moved out of the way <coughs> okay all right tell you what i'll um move here instead okay and then i am going to have trauma medicine ready if someone goes below half health you got it uh, Breeze, it is now your turn. Hey. I am going to... Holding on to the wall. Move to the other side. Here. Mm -hmm. And come down. Behind. Like, five feet. So they're within five feet of me. Okay. And use my... Scimitar. Okay, roll on attack at advantage since attack. you are flanking. To roll with advantage, hold down the left shift key and then click on your weapon symbol. In your actions tab. If you have any trouble, let me know and I can always do it for you. Oops, sorry. Awesome, so 15 does hit uh, you get the first one. How do you want to do this? Yes. Um. Oh, let's see. I'm just going to use the scimitar and just slice right through it. Right. As it's squirreling all over Maresh and trying to eat away at it, you find it where it's the most uh, corporeal and, <laughs> and you slice right across it. It melts off Maresh like a gooey silvery pile and goes to his feet. Maresh is no longer grappled as well. All right, that is your action. A little bit of your movement. Do you have a bonus action? Um, bonus action. I'm do another healing word on Maresh. Maresh is at full health right oh. now. Oh, okay. Then... Thank you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Good looking out. Um, no. Okay. I'm gonna just... The blue blick. What are you going to do? Another attack on Maresh. Maresh, I need for a DC 13 dexterity saving throw. Okay. 
Mm. You take 24, 23 points of necrotic damage. Is that with the uh, reduction? That is with the reduction. It's a 27, otherwise. Um, DM, mm -hmm. how does necrotic damage work with, with your... Like, do you gain those back when you... How does that work? Can you be more specific? When you take necrotic damage, when you take necrotic damage isn't there a thing where, like, you can't heal those back? No, no, no. That was, that was no something back? totally different. <laughs> don't don't let that out. There's a couple of people that are in that campaign right now. <laughs> uh, so no, that is not a thing um, in this campaign. Uh, so Maresh, you are currently grappled. Did Maresh go below half? He health? did. So extremely slow. <laughs> okay, so trauma medicine goes through. I use one charge of my healer's kit. Mm -hmm. Heal him for 11. Heal for 11 points. Uh, here's the... Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. Uh, Maresh, it is now your turn. Alright. I'm going to activate my metamagic twin spell for one sorcery point. Okay. And if I use... Chromatic Orb. One shot at Babublik, and one shot at Kukoko. Okay, they're both at disadvantage, so I think you may have to, if it's if you're still having trouble with the with the rolls at disadvantage, then you may have to unclick your spells so that you can send more spells. Okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, so go ahead and yeah. do that. Fire them off. Huh? Uh, Pun intended. What did those? Oh, because I guess it's like damage type. That's mm -hmm. right. 15 does hit. The 5 does not, unfortunately. But the first one against the blue blick does 24 points of damage. He is barely hanging on. And then I'll just finish by saying, take care of him. He's almost dead. Okay. Ekrim, Cloblo, it is now your turns. EMP, you're on deck. It's going towards <laughs> Chrissy. Come at me, bro. Okay. Um, a dexterity saving throw, please. You take eight points of necrotic damage. And you are currently grappled by Cloblo. Oh, cool. Ekrim is going to attack Maresh. 18 hits, uh, your armor class? Yep. Yes, it does. 11 points of bludgeoning damage, reduced by 4, 7. 7 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh. Are you doing the d4s? I am not. Uh, so I gotta roll a d4. Give me a second. Thank you very much. 16. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. The, the Blue Blick <laughs> and uh, Cloblo both did uh, attacks that require saving throws, so I don't believe that those counted, but Ekrim is not baned. Oh, okay. So that would still hit with seven points of damage towards Maresh. Alright. Counting the, the bubble effect? Uh, yeah. It was 11 bludgeoning damage otherwise. Got it. Okay. Uh, EMP, it is now your turn. Oh, Maresh is uh, looking real rough. Maresh is looking real rough? Yep. I think yeah, I'll use another charge of the trauma medicine. Okay. On Maresh. Okay. You heal for five points of healing, Maresh. Gotcha. Are you above half health? Yes, I am. Okay, there you go. And. What 
stuff me. Let's see. Can I ready an action? I believe trauma medicine is an action. Yeah, okay. So in that case, I'll just stay where I am, because I think that's all I can do from, from here. Okay. Because uh, Kanako is dead, you could potentially move through uh, all the spaces to the top to get around if you were trying to get into melee, but you also run the risk of being attacked. So what do you want to do? I will stay here because it looks like Maresh and Chrissy are going to need my healing. Okay, gotcha. Chrissy, it is now your turn. When you say, which The one in front of me is the one that's grappling? Uh, the one with the same mark as you. Um, getting awfully handsy, darling. Inflict wounds. Uh, unfortunately, 13 does not hit its armor class. Still take half. Does it if it's a touch spell? Oh, God, I hate that. That's so much stuff. Do you have a card of inspiration? Uh, well, I don't know. Do they cross over? Because I had some left over from last time. Yes, you do. You have you have right. maximum one. Oh. Okay. So, do you want to use it to roll that spell one more time? Um. Yeah. Um, Go for it. You may potentially one shot this 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 enemy. Uh, yeah, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll it again. Going back to the spells. Spell, 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 spell. Where the heck is the spell? There we go. Okay, it's a little bit less damage, but 15 does hit. So it's 21 points of necrotic damage. And this one too now is starting to lose its form and the equivalent of bloodied. Bonus action? Can I, well, it, it would be an action if I wanted to try to break the grapple. Oh, healing Yodel on uh, Maresh. Hey, Maresh, you get a D4. Yeah. Uh, give me just a second. Uh, Max. four. Nine. Gracias. So a bonus action, Chris? I am done. Okay. Madigan, it is now your turn. Um, I am going to... Oh, I've been trying to decide over the last five minutes. Um, I want to say to Maresh, um, maybe we can get you outside or away from these and attack the blue bleak. Okay, roll an attack. Seventeen does hit. How does the? Sorry. I'm sorry. How does the healing with our two bubbles work? Uh, the yellow reduces your damage by four, uh, and also does um, what is the other thing it does? I think that was it for the yellow bubble. Uh, yeah, whenever something uh, is, whenever side. something takes damage, uh, it's re other than psychic, it's reduced by four. Uh, yeah. And that's if they're in the yellow bubble. If they're in the blue bubble, if there is a spell that uses a spell slot uh, that is uh, used to heal an ally, that also increases by four. Okay. Okay, so the blue blick takes two points of slashing damage. Five yeah. points of uh, fire damage. How do you want to do this? That's you, Nugget. Mad again? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought it was Chrissy for some reason. No worries. Uh, we can... <laughs> I was like, yeah, go, go Chrissy. We could, we could just say it dies if you want. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I love these moments. I, I'm going to go ahead and um, just try to slice it down the center and hope that it, you know, catches fire a little okay. bit. Okay. Uh, you slice it, or you smash it straight down, and as you do, it wraps around the oh, end yeah. of your large torch brand, and you just watch it, and it looks like a real torch now. Uh, that is your action. Do you have a bonus action or a movement you want to use? 
Um, I, I'm so sorry, my, my dog is I know, I hear talking. him and he's very cute. <laughs> oh no, it's I'm Morty. sorry. No, no, it's super cute. Morty's cheering um, you on. Right? <laughs> Uh, no, I'm, I'm gonna hold my bonus action and everything for now. <laughs> <laughs> that is adorable. Okay, Breeze, it is now your turn. Okay, I am going to move here. Okay. Um... And do another strike with my scimitar. Okay. Against Koblo. Okay. Roll an attack for me. Maresh, you're on deck. It's still, still with advantage? Uh, not this one. You need to be on directly on the other. Sorry, I'm looking over because my Discord's over there. You need to be on a direct straight line uh, across from an ally. Okay. So you would have to be against the blown out door if you were going to try to attack Clubo with advantage, which you still can do. Like if you are here, you get the advantage. Yes. Okay. So because you have that straight on the other side line with that, now you get that. Right. Okay. Hey. Nice, 22 to hit, uh, seven points of slashing damage. Uh, it is barely hanging on to its uh, form. Bonus action? Okay. Bonus action. I'm gonna do at first level healing word. Against whom? Or at whom? On a at a Maresh. Okay. Maresh, roll, uh, go ahead and roll that for me. Maresh, it is your turn. Uh, you are about to gain some hit points, but in the meantime, what are you going to do? I'll do a little repeat, activating twin spell once again. Okay. With a chromatic orb, one going to low blow, the other one to echo. Okay. Uh, character sheet, please. All right, remember, you are still within melee, so these are at disadvantage. <clears throat> damage. Damage. Unfortunately, they're both sevens, so they both would fail. Uh, do you want to move? Okay. Do you want to stay put? Bonus action? Uh, yeah. I will move back. Breeze, can you please yeah. send the uh, healing potion? Or the, the healing word? And Ekram Klobo, you can make attacks of opportunity if you wish. Does a 10 hit your armor class, and does a 15 hit your armor class? The 10 does not, the 15 does. Okay. So the 10 is actually much less than that, but I figured it wasn't going to hit anyway, so I'm not going to roll the d4 for Bane. Um, and also, Chrissy, you were hit, correct? No. Did you take damage? That was... Um... Yeah, I thought you already subtracted it from that. Right, but you're concentrating so, on Bane. So I need for you to roll me a constitution saving oh, throw. Right. I forgot about I forgot to give you a concentration check. You save. Okay. Um Arresh, so you take um eight points of uh bludgeoning damage. But otherwise you're okay. Ekrim. Uh what are you going to do? And Cloblo, you may roll the damage for Chrissy. Just roll damage. It's it's. And then my previous healing was five. Okay, so that's nine it. points on you, Maresh. A D10. Are you sure that's as many D10? 
<laughs> In the nicest way, I'm just trying to be fair. Uh, no, for so for Ekrim, that's just a straight attack if it's going against Chrissy. Uh, but if it's um, sorry, I'm Breeze, I'm gonna move you for a second. If it's Cloblo, Cloblo runs rolls the necrotic damage again. Okay. Uh, you take 20 points of necrotic damage, Chrissy. And Ekrim, who, what is Ekrim going to do? He's going to slam Chrissy. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. What's up? Oh, okay. Well, Chrissy's already down. Okay. Uh, this next attack... Uh, brings you to uh, two failed death saving throws. It is a critical hit. Uh, EMP, it is now your turn. Huh, okay. Um... <laughs> Let's see. Uh, EMP is going to move forward. Okay. I'm going to save that for something. It's... Wait. Healing Yodel on Chrissy. Chrissy, you're back up. <laughs> He's awake? Yep. Okay. Um. Four points of healing, Chrissy, but you are still prone. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go and try to... Clobo is the one that is... is that is currently uh... wrapped around Chrissy. That is correct. And it's also the one that looks really yes. weak. Yes. Right? Very, very. Okay, so EMP is going to attack it with his rapier. Okay. Roll an attack at advantage. So this one doesn't count. Okay, Roll it again. I'm gonna... Okay. Okay. Um, eight, unfortunately, is not enough to hit. I'll use my card of inspiration. Roll again. To reroll that. So this one came up as at advantage. Um, but remember, whenever you roll, you only roll one more time. So I have to take the number on the left. Okay. All right? So that's an 11 to hit. And unfortunately, that does not hit. Red. Do you want to use a bonus action? Uh. Chrissy, you're on deck. I think a shove would really do anything as a bonus action right now because it can just move forward. Well, it's also grappled with Chrissy, so it could it has advantage on the resistance. That's true. Okay. Well, if I were to do a shield master shove as a bonus action on Ekrim, would it be going straight towards the wall or five feet back? Five south? feet south. So go next to Breeze. I will do that just so Chrissy has some breathing room. Okay. Um, you would be getting into Ekram's space. So you're going to do that. Push them push them back. Uh, I believe with Shieldmaster, that is a contested athletics check or an acrobatics check. What is it? What is it? Oh, wait. That's an... Well, on... Okay. Um, I'm going to say it's a contested either athletics or acro uh, athletics check for you. So you roll athletics. And then Ekrim is going to roll either uh, acrobatics or athletics. So that's strength or dexterity uh, knowledge domain. Whichever you choose. Whichever is better. Okay. So uh, Ekrim rolled a 19. So the shove does not happen. Okay. Okay. Chrissy, it is now your turn. Well, <clears throat> Chrissy's awake and alert and very pissed. Not pissed enough. <laughs> <laughs> 
miss. No, you were so pissed that it made you miss. Okay, <sighs> you're still prone. Uh, do you want to get up? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Okay, so you are no longer prone. Uh, bonus action. Is it... Let me see if I even have one. Is it a bonus action to drink a healing potion? Yes. Then I was going to do that. Did you have a, a... There was only one healing potion remaining, and Maresh took it. Well, my inventory says I have one, so, it's up, so you tell me. <laughs> I might have had one from the last campaign, and you took it back, I guess. Is that yeah, whenever works? items are used in the caravan, um, we put them back in. So if they're like those used those useful items you, I put those back into the caravan inventory so that was from your last session okay and then that's it okay uh, Madigan it is now your turn I'm gonna use my bonus action to cast spiritual weapon okay what does your spiritual weapon look like uh, it is a mace with a uh, different phases of the moon around uh, each side oh. after my goddess and I want to cast it here right behind Ekram okay ta-da oh nice and if I can I'd like to move onto the other side of the one who is not Ekram if you and... so if you move south one you would actually get advantage <laughs> on that attack Oh, oh, is Breeze up in the air? Uh, Breeze is no. only five feet, so, Here. but if you go in the diagonal. Oh. Ah, okay. Thank you, DM. I'm on your guys' side. It's a lot of guilt, but mostly on your guys' side. <laughs> <laughs> really don't want another TPK. Uh, roll again, because your we Flame get. Tongue Longsword um, is at advantage. Or, sorry, your oh. uh, Firebrand Maul. That does hit. Yes. Uh, how do you want to do this? And unfortunately, your spiritual weapon does not hit. Got it. Um, once again, just trying to be as efficient and get these cut down as possible. Just going to go right down from the top. Okay, you absolutely do. And ba pow! Sorry, your spiritual weapon does get to make another attack. Since Chrissy is a creature, uh, it gets... It gets advantage on its attack, but Chrissy does not get advantage because Spiritual Weapon is not a creature if she attacks. That is a very contested thing, uh, but that's the way that's supposed to work. If it is a creature that is an ally of yours, it must be a creature. Hello, Riker. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, it just doesn't get there. the party bed. Okay. Uh, Madigan, that is your turn. You did wipe out one of the creatures. Chrissy, you are no longer uh, grappled. Breeze, it is now your turn. You are in melee, Quick so... Question. Yes? Did I get the extra four points for the trouble bubble? No, it has to be a... It, it very specifically says if a spell slot is used to, to heal, uh, but no spell slot was okay. used. Okay, Breeze, it is now your turn. What would you like to do? Um, can I move in the same space as the spiritual weapon? Sure. Okay. I'll just move it out of the way temporarily. Okay. Because I want to get in and just again swipe. Okay. At. That with my Roll an attack at advantage. It's get to my right place. 20 definitely hits. Three points of slashing damage. Okay. And... Bonus action. Oh, it's only first level. No. 
Maresh, you're on deck. I'll cast another using my first level spell slot. Another first level um, healing word on Chrissy. Okay, roll that uh, healing word, please. And that is movement, action. You have a little bit more movement. Uh, do you want to move? Um, 10 points, Chrissy. If I am actually, I'm not going to move, but I am going to move unicorn. Closer. Sounds good. You now have a very lovely unicorn helping you guys out from behind. Marish, you're up. What do you want to do? I'm going to use my Scorching Ray on Exodus. Okay. Three normal attacks. Thank you for the inspiration card. Nice. Uh, miss, miss, hit. Brutal, man. The dice just aren't liking you today. Sorry, man. Um... Let's see. Don't... We used it all on the roleplay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, da 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 da. Uh, my meta magic empowered spell says I can reroll it. Is it just rerolling for the damage, or is that rerolling for the? Can you send the meta magic to the uh to the VTT for me? You might have to copy paste. Uh, what you need. It just says that you can choose a metamagic uh, feat. Can you send um, me? You might have to copy paste this one. Yeah. Ooh, my eyeballs. Woo. Burning. Damage for a spell, you can spend one sorcery point to reroll up to two of the dice. So, yes, you could spend a sorcery point to reroll both the dice. They're both ones. All right. So just so that I can keep my head on straight, I'm going to add four back. Uh, do you want to re-roll two of those dice by spending a sorcery point? Yes. All right, one sorcery point is gone. Yeah. And re-roll 2d6. Yeah. Just 2d6, but okay. Uh, we'll take the oh. first one. Um, so that's 5 plus 5, which is good. Uh, total of 20. Okay, this thing is barely hanging on. It's really, really hurt. Alright, and that'll be all for me. Okay, Ekrim, what are you going to do? It's going after EMP. Roll me a dexterity saving throw, please. Okay. So that's actually a total of 10, because you have Shield Master. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not enough to save. Right. Okay. You take 20 points of necrotic damage. Mm -hmm. And you are now grappled. Can I use the card of inspiration that I just got to sure. roll it? Sure. Ah. Alright, I'll just take it, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, bud. Is the damage still the, the same? Damage is still the same. Okay. So it was 20 points? 20, yes. Uh, no, 16, because you're still in the in Madigan's circle. Okay. Alright, EMP, it is now your turn. Chrissy, you're on deck, followed by Madigan, and then Breeze, and then Maresh. That is true. This does happen right away, because it's his turn. Uh, Am I going to get hit again? You're going to take 19 more points of, uh, of necrotic damage, reduced by 4. That's 15. Okay. 
Uh, Ekrim is looking real rough. And EMP is starting to spark a little bit. Um, <laughs> so EMP is going to try to break out of the grapple. Okay, it's a DC 13, either acrobatics or athletics. Okay. You break out of the <laughs> grapple. And how hurt is Chrissy? Is she under half health? Chrissy, are you below half of your health? Not really. I'm a little over half. Okay. Um, then I will just ready. Or I mean, I'll move one space down and ready a trauma medicine in case Chrissy or. Uh, Breeze gets below half. Copy that. Chrissy, it is now your turn. Oh, wait, uh, that was my action, wasn't it? Breaking out. I don't think I can ready anything. It's fine. Uh, the guy in front of me... Go ahead and cast that. Inflict wounds. Uh, it is an advantage because you have somebody flanking you that's a creature. So roll it again and make sure that you restore your spell slot. 20 does hit. 25 points. How do you want to do this? Um, Chrissy is just going to take her fingers with her long, sharp, black pointed nails and sink them into the, the thing and just watch it wither in her hand. You absolutely do, and as you watch it, uh, you see it in a silvery red puddle. And you all have survived this encounter. Sure we did. This encounter, you're not done yet. And I just realized the dumbest possible thing is everyone else is level four, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still at level All three. right, well... Oh no. Well, I was oh. like, why does everybody have so many hit points? I don't have that many hit points. <laughs> okay, well that's oh, yeah. that's something. So Well we can we can rectify that after this. Well, we session. can rectify it now, roll me D eight. I rolled a four. Dear. Take a six, level yourself yeah. up, you get an extra level two spell slot. Mm -hmm. Don't restore your hit points, though. Can. Nope. Crazy's gonna go into a corner and start cleaning herself off. Okay, you do so. <laughs> so. Can I use trauma medicine to heal yes, myself? Yes, you can. Okay. Nine. And then I'll also take a potion of healing. I think there was only one left. I have two with me already. Oh, because you purchased them. That is correct. Oh. Yes, I did. He had a feature that gives him extra starting gold, because that's what he chose. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so Trauma Medicine gives you nine. Potion of Healing gives you seven. Awesome. So that is 15 total healing. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Is there anything else anybody else would like to do? Uh, Madigan, since you have things that are timed, please keep sure that you keep the time and how many turns you have left so that we know how long it's going to last. Uh, I believe I have three more turns, um, if I'm keeping track of this right. Okay. Um, for the bubble. Got it. And then for the spiritual weapon is... Like half of that. Oh. Or I cast it. Sorry. No worries. I think it has like three more turns than the bubble. I think. Gotcha. Okay. So Chrissy, um, you're going to go over and start cleaning yourself off, but you all are still in initiative because this is still a dangerous area. So what are you going to do? Oh, gee. <laughs> That's for everybody. Yeah, everybody's still in initiative. Oh, what am I going to do? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. 
Madigan, you're up. Good talk. Um, <laughs> who is looking the bloodiest from just kind of a quick scan? HP check, everybody. Rush, how you doing? 21 out of 30. Um, Breeze, you're, you're full. Chrissy, how are you feeling? <laughs> uh, on a scale of 1 to 21, I'm at a 14. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm gonna cast some healing your way. And EMP is at 27 out of 35, because I forgot about the temporary hit points when I de-subtracted my health. Okay. So you're doing okay? EMP is fine. Well, we're gonna just give you a touch of cure wounds. Can EMP use the empty health potion to take a sample of the creature? Absolutely. Go for it. You okay. scoop it up into the bottle and you sort of and you pop it in there and EMP shoves a cork as tight as he can to make sure it can't get out if it's still alive you now have a full bottle full of uh, slithering tracker goop okay um I still need to. I still need to go down the line, though. So, EMP, I'm going to give you that, but right, that is sorry. still going to be your turn. So, Breeze, what are you going to be doing? You're still floating. And Madigan, you can control your spirit weapon. Do I see more of those shimmery anywhere? Roll me a perception check. Other than those doors. You do not. Also, uh, I was just looking at my spirit mm -hmm. totem, and it's actually where did I see? Okay, it lasts for one minute or until I was incap incapacitated. Okay, so when Madigan's uh, circle dies, your unicorn goes away. Okay. Do you want to move? Um, also, is EMP considered a construct? He is not. He's considered yes. a creature. I thought. Yeah. Never mind. Next <laughs> <right then. laughs> I will move here and then also do another healing word on EMP. Copy that. Maresh, it's your turn. Go ahead. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to move right over here okay and 10 points ready in action of firebolt oh, okay just in case. you get ready and you got the firebolt ready to go uh emp it's now your turn or no i'm sorry you took it to uh bottle the the slithering tracker chrissy you are clean The door directly to the to the north of us is still closed. It's closed. Correct? Nobody's opened it, and there is a blood trail uh, leading from the room you're in up to past that door. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna ready an action again. If if anything attacks any one of the party, I'm gonna ready a chill touch. Copy that. Madigan, it is now your turn. Um, I am going to turn to Maresh and say um, they, they seem to be attracted to you. We might want to be really careful of your placement. Mm. And going to step a little bit to the north 
um, to kind of get between anything that might come through and Moresh. Okay, gotcha. Breeze, it is now your turn. What do you want to do? Moresh, you're on deck. Do you want to continue to float? Um, I do. Because I'm not sure if there's any more. Since I did not see anything more, I don't want to risk it surprising okay. me. It is an action to use gust in order to puff yourself in a direction. <clears throat> or you can have somebody balloon you again. That's totally fine. No, I'll use the gust and push me here. Okay. Now you're against the wall so you can control and... yourself. Um... You have another movement so you can push off if you wish. No, I'm going to stay right there for right now. And... I'm going to look again towards Let the door. Let me perception check. Following the... Okay. Um, looking near the door... I... Question. What? Can I use my inspiration? Sure. Yeah, if you want to re-roll that. Not any better. Okay. Um, you don't really see anything that's any different. Nothing seems threatening aside from the shut door and everybody else that's pointing at the door. That's about it. Everybody else is finding that door okay. very threatening. Maresh, it's now your turn. I'm going to shoot a firebolt at the... Okay. You shoot a firebolt and... <laughs> you blast the door off. You see another door behind it, but it looks like it leads into a hallway. Okay. And I will not be moving. Okay, <laughs> EMP, it's now your turn. So EMP is going to move towards the door. Thank you. And as he brushes past everybody, he's patting and dusting his white coat off. Fighting is not my forte. Saving your lives are. Now, shall we proceed? Okay. As you get towards the door, you find a long hallway. In that long hallway, you see that there is an, uh, toward, if you turn left, there is another way that leads towards the left. There's also a door towards your left. Down the hallway towards your right, you see four other doors. And a shattered door out the other side, which leads into the game room. I see any the drag marks and blood. All marks. the drag marks are leading towards the left, towards the door to the northwest. Okay. Uh, I relay that to everyone else. Okay. And let them know to be on your guard. Chrissy. I'm going to continue holding Chill Touch in case anyone gets attacked. Copy that. Madigan? I am... I can't move uh, past the space that EMP is yes, in, Yes, you right? can. You can move past it. It's just... I can? Okay. I'm going to move forward then and into the okay. hallway. You see everything I just mentioned, and you're in front of another door. Uh, the door is to the north door, of me? There's a door to the north of you. There's a door to the northeast of you, and there are four doors uh, towards the west side of you, and a blown-out door up here, which leads into the game room. Uh, I'd like to move toward... Uh, 
Um, I'm just going to wait. At the end of this turn is when the bubble drops. Okay. I'm going to end your aura. Uh, I guess one second. <laughs> Save. All right, there it goes. It's gone. Uh, Breeze, what would you like to do? Sorry, muted. Since uh, Madigan Spora dropped, I guess that's my spirit totem also drops. Um, and I will move. I'm going to go ahead and land, come back down to the okay. ground. You are now uh, bipedal. And I can move my full 30 now? Yep. Or 25? since it was five feet down. I'm going to give you that five feet. is just a <clears throat> nice ten-point okay. landing. <laughs> I'm going to move next to EMP here. Uh, okay. You're still concentrating on levitate, so if you want to levitate at any time, you can. Um, any action? Um, want to continue moving? No. Maresh, it's now your turn. I'm gonna move up right here behind EMP. And I'll say to the party, follow the blood. Yeah. Someone's here. Okay, action? Nope. EMP. Um, seeing as how it's coming from one of the scratches lead here, correct? Uh, the scratches, or sorry, the blood is going in this direction. Okay. Heading so that way. Okay. So the MP will go to the okay. door, kind of go, pardon me, madam, as he pushes through Madigan. And he's going to try to open the door. Okay. Just the crack. door is unlocked, and you can see inside. It is a linen closet. The blood appears to be going in a trail in this direction. Okay, so how far did I go? I moved 10 feet. So I will, the MP will push further here. Okay. And then open that door as well. Okay, copy that. So as you open that door, this is also unlocked and it's another blood trail. This one seems to go a little bit towards the, uh, if you make a hand turn at the end of that hallway. So this way. Okay. So seeing as how he went out of view from everyone, he's just going to stay his action. Okay. Chrissy. Chrissy is going to cast spiritual weapon. What is your spiritual weapon? My spiritual weapon is a very oh I, I rolled um large black rusted looking um what's the thing with a spiked ball at the end of a chain a flail a flail very rusted like black flail with like black ickery sinewy stuff at the ends of it well all of that metal we'll get this and this is the black one so this is going to be the one that's a little bit Still a spiritual weapon, just a little different. Uh, and it's going to be in the other direction. So, it's so metal. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll get that ready for you. Um, are you going to move? That was my bonus mm -hmm. action for my action. I want to cast um, Abeleth's Mist, which basically gives anyone disadvantage of perceiving me for a minute. Okay. A pale white mist envelops you, also metal. Um, 
I don't know that spell, but whatever, whoever you have these from, that one I like the most. That's actually really cool. Does it come from Chrissy, or is it fixed in just in this room or in that room? It's it's on kind of on me. Okay. It's kind of like blur. Uh, yes, but yeah, it's just different. Show. It's just difficult for somebody to perceive you, not to hit you. Uh, Madigan, yeah. it is now yeah. your turn. I'm gonna follow behind um, EMP okay. um, for movement and for um, bonus action. I'm just gonna move my spiritual weapon up closer. Gotcha. To me. How many more turns does your spiritual weapon have? Uh, after this, one, two, three, four, five, six. I miscounted no before. Worries. It was only three turns totally in. Um, so six. So you notice that down here is simply just a dead end hallway. Um, in EMP, I should have told you that before, but uh, there's, there's nothing there. Just a dead end. Okay. Uh, okay, Madigan, are you going to move any farther? Uh, no, I don't want to stray too far from... Breeze, it is else. now your turn. EMP, you're next. I am... Oh, wait. Uh, well, Mareshti also needs to go, too, before I go. Sorry, yes. going to move in just inside the mm -hmm. door and Do you want to move again? I don't want to go too far. I want to still be able to have everyone see me. I want to look around in the closet. Okay, roll me an investigation check, please. Okay. As you're looking in this cloth closet, um, you're going through everything trying to find something. You are finding a lot of spices, uh, and you are finding also a lot of robes here. Uh, silkish material, all of which are white, black, and, uh, and goldish. Roll me a wisdom check. Awesome. You remember seeing these robes when you were next to the Citadel? Okay, that is your turn. Maresh, it's now your turn. I will move up here to the hallway. Okay. And watching our backs, I will ready a fire. Okay, you're ready a fire bolt. MP, you're up. Okay. You look inside this area, and you see what appears to be a small reading room and a door to your left. Really apprehensive, but okay, I'll just move 10 feet forward there. Okay. Um, just to speed things up a little bit, we're not going to be in initiative order anymore. So <laughs> let's okay. just, uh, let's just, what do you guys want to do? Uh, so we know there's a second floor, so we should head up. I, well, I tell everybody, I know there was a second floor. Okay. We head um, upstairs. We can find it. Does... I, I want to follow the blood trail. Oh, yeah. sorry, EMP. Well, EMP, I, I was just going to have EMP kind of survey the room to see if he notices anything. Uh, the blood it. trail is leading through that door. Uh, 
I think we should go in and see what we can find, see who we can find, and see who we can save. Alright. Good enough, bring up P. He opens the door. Okay. Uh, as you open up, you see a room that has what appears to be a large hatch. The room is covered in blood. A lot of the blood looks to be long since dried, but a lot of it is fresh. There is also a trail of it that goes up towards the north, and you see a bunch of what appear to be uh, automatons in the room across from you all. Okay. Um, as you go inside, you see eight, eight Warforged that look a lot like you. All different shapes, all different sizes, all different widths. But as you're looking at them, they all look very much like you. The difference being is that they're currently uh, dripping and look like they have a lot of uh, dried blood all over them. They're not moving. Detect I'm beginning magic. to... Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Mm -mm. Go ahead. I'm beginning to understand what that guard was talking about <coughs> earlier. But that's all EMP says. Okay. You notice a staircase okay, towards the north. Magic. Okay. Uh, you cast Detect Magic, and right now you detect no magic here, but you detect some magic that's above you. You detect Necromancy. You also detect um, up to the north, uh, 15, 15 feet up and 5 feet to the left, and about 20 feet to the north uh, east. Uh, you also <coughs> sense necromancy. Necromancy and transmutation. I will share that with the group. Being a warforged himself, does EMP know the process of creating a You do. Um, there's usually a, a willing host that uh, wants to put their body and their soul into a uh, into a metal shell. Uh, most of their organic essence does go into a, does go into becoming a warforged. It's just the exoskeleton that remains metal. Uh, so for the most part, you are still you inside this. You remember what happened from before. Although some things you may optimize, some things you may ask to have removed, some things you may ask to have added, uh, but your soul still remains. Okay. And EMP tells everybody about that. So there's someone could be shoving bodies into these machines. Unwilling transplant. Those tend to be more messy, as you can tell. Were you created here? No, I was not. Does Christy know what kinds of things you might be concocting with transmutation and necromancy? Roll me an arcana check. Uh, there's a lot of things that are possible, um, but not really something that you can see. But if it's transmutation and necromancy and a whole bunch of dripping, bloody uh, warforged, it could be something like that. You said I detected uh, necromancy upstairs? Necromancy upstairs, yes. But necromancy and uh, transmutation on this floor. There is a staircase directly yeah. above you. I think we I should go the Spear to. I want to use. I'm 
thinking about using the orb on the spear to maybe scry upstairs? You'd have to scry on somebody or something that you know. Okay. So, think about that. And if you have something that's solid, just let me know. Uh, in the meantime, Chrissy, you see a staircase. You also see a door to your left and a door to your right. This entire staircase is uh, floor-to-ceiling windows. I'm going to just kneel down real quick and run my fingers through the blood and just give a little taste. Okay. <laughs> um, it is freshly coagulated, so it's still sticky. It's not warm? No, it's cold. Uh, can I go over to these four forgies? Sure. And um, do I get the impression that there's any life or re rejuven re re reanimating <laughs> ability life? In there? I will give you Arcana, medicine, or intelligence. Whatever's best for you. Let's see. Arcana, medicine. Boy, let's do medicine. Okay. <laughs> As you start moving things around, you actually feel like the different sinewy bits, and the sinewy bits actually feel squishy in your hands. They feel like real muscle. You start to move in, and you can see bone. You start to move in even farther. You can see a digestive system. Uh, these are, in all sense, Warforged being made. And no reaction from my probing. None. Uh. EMP oh, goes, okay. we could take one if we can. I would like to. Well, I need a body to test. I need a body? <laughs> um, just, just for. Just, let's see. Just to see what happens, I'm going to cast um, Reanimate Lesser Dead on two of them. Actually, one of them, sorry. Uh, pile of bones or a corpse? Medium, a small humanoid within range. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, one of them does come to life. Um, Are you going to kiss this one? <laughs> I will make him controllable by you. And yes, that is me in a walrus onesie. I don't no. happen to have a zombie warforged on hand. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. <laughs> Uh, it's Chrissy, though. Chrissy is elated. Sure. <laughs> uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. If I hadn't wasted my second level spell, I could have three of them. <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, if, I, if I could give you my sorcery point. It's I now would. controllable <laughs> by you. Cool. Wow. EMP asks. If that being survives, could I use it as a test dummy? Oh, I suppose so, but it might be a while. I'm not sure when I'm going to be done with him. We don't know who's in that one. EMP, EMP roll me a perception check. Mm. You notice a little bit of blood underneath each of those doors to the left and to the right, and just a very little bit on the very edge of the steps going up. Okay. Uh, first, EMP agrees with Prissy. It's, met, it's dead already. 
Um, and then he relays that information to everyone. Is everybody ready? Can I... Yes. Before we go anywhere, can I look around to see if there's tracks in the blood? Uh, yes, you do see tracks in the blood. Roll me a survival check, please. I really thought that was going to be better. Um, they're not human. Can I tell what they are from that survival check? They're not wearing boots. They look like they have claws. And they have large feet. You see three separate claws. Not three right. legs, just two legs, three claws. And then drag marks. And it's, is it going the direction upstairs? Yes. All right, I'll, I'll relate to the group. Whatever this is that we're dealing with, it's not a person. Okay, EMP, are you just going straight upstairs? Yeah. Okay. Can I look at the tracks more? What is your survival modifier, please? Survival modifier is plus two. So just so it doesn't become a I can roll better than you competition, um, I'm going to check that and I'm going to roll it um, hidden from you all, but I'm going to add two to whatever I roll on a d20 roll. And then if anything changes, I'll let you know. Okay. Uh, Bizarcus, quick so side. I'm getting some like popping from your audio. Is that just me or is anyone else hearing? Oh, that? I thought it was just me. I was getting ready to go switch headphones. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hold I on. Can hear it. Yep. Any better? Perfect. Okay. Thank you for checking that for me. It's uh it's a Oh wait. Nope, nope. nope. there it goes it again. Okay. <laughs> I think it's because I have this on my jacket, and that's just the reason why it's happening. Okay, let me just get this away from my jacket. Ah. Put this on my little coat pocket right here instead. There we go. Perfect. Still, Still happening. Happen well, shit. Okay, I'll just hold it in my hand then. Uh, so, yes. Um, you can tell that this is draconic in nature. Draconic. Draconic. <gasps> I'm going to say to EMP, wait, before you do anything, let's just use our little friend first. I'm going to send Charles, my oh, new no. Charles, <laughs> I was gonna say over to... Point. Which door? Pick a door. To the left. To the left, to the left. To my left or your left? <laughs> and then it's the don't same. forget I'm to take it back now, y'all. <laughs> okay, so you guys are going to the doors first? Well, I'm going to have uh, Mr. Walworth open the door okay. first. Go through the door first. Um, as this one opens the door, uh, you notice a old party member drained of blood and in the middle of a summoning circle. Now, can't, I mean, I'm assuming I can't see what Charles sees, so only EMP can see this? Yes. Uh, I'm, at, I'm just at the stairs. Or... Then you can see him. Okay. Does anyone look familiar as to having red skin, Maresh? Or Sir Maresh? Yes, that was one of our... So the caravan, the Lady Cinder. I see. EMP will go to inspect the body. Okay. Um, she has these massive uh, wounds all over her that are very reminiscent of the ones that uh, Maresh has. And although that Maresh only has them on one side, um, her chest has been caved in. EMP is going to move her away from the, the circle. Okay. Probably just like prop her up against the, the wall. Okay, you do so. But he tells everybody there is no saving that. 
At least it is out of my ability. It's even worse than I expected. Uh, I'm going to tell Chris, Charles. Uh, the other before duel. that, Chrissy Madigan, please roll me a um, religion check. Uh, keep adjusting your mic, Bizarkin. You said religion? Damn it. Give me just one second. I'm going to try yes, to fix this. Okay. okay. All right. Seems that you and I are both not religious, Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. It must be the jacket. That's what's ha That has to be what's causing it, right? The jacket's the problem? It's still uh, happening. Still here. <laughs> It just sounds like there's a loose wire or Probably something. Probably is. Okay. Yeah. We'll survive. Well, you may not. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> well, it's too okay, okay, look. Then. Here's a level, here's death. <laughs> I'm just worried. A lot happened last time. I, I can't go through losing two characters two sessions in a row here. <laughs> I know, and I don't want you to. Just give me yep. give me a second. Give me a second. I have another option here. I mean, we could stall for time. <laughs> Wait another week. Uh, uh, you may have to, uh, with the current pace that we've been going. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I mean, we were so shaken from last week that we're taking this really carefully. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Everybody's holding hands, going up the All right, stairs. I am very, yeah. very sorry for the crackling. I'm going to do my best to try to make this uh, not happen, so I'll stand as still as possible. Uh, but it looks like it's going to happen for at least a little while. Um, no worries. But you guys can still understand me a little bit, right? All yeah. Right. It's just like a few subtle popping. Right, that's my there. fault. Uh, I'll, I'll fix it. Uh, so, as you guys are um, opening that door and taking care of that body, what else are you going to do? I think I missed something while I was trying to do this. Hearing about... We rolled uh, what is the religion check? Okay, yeah. so Madigan knows that um, that body is mostly viable for a revivify, or, or sorry, for a raise dead spell. Uh, it would be possible. Um, our, or DM question, are ritual casts always 10 minutes? It's an additional 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, you guys do, do we have a couple minutes? I just want to, um, cast some gentle repose and just put a pause on this in, in case we can do anything to help her. And I'll also share what I know about the, uh, the viability of the body. I recommend we move away from this circle. Possibly here. Hearing about the state of Cinder, I'd like to rush up here and open this door. I'm concerned. Okay. Um, you do find that the door is open. And as you open the door, you see on the other side one of your old party members. As I thought. He too is on top of what appears to be another uh, summoning circle. All right then, let's move the bodies away from them. Okay, you do so. Uh, let's see. Can I move Cinder over here for Madigan to, to perform her action? Uh, yeah, you absolutely can. Do you need any help moving her? Will I need any help? Uh, you should, you should, you I should be fine. I have a 10 in strength. I'll do the same with Blanc. Okay. You do so. Um, as you do move them out of the way, Chrissy, I need for you to please roll me a perception check. You hear a very soft. That's not my mic popping. <laughs> but it sounds like it's coming from upstairs. Sounds like something is trying to sneak its way down. 
Now, is that a grinding sound or like a slimy? Like a sound? like wood creaking. Oh, uh, I'm going to telepathically have Charles stand at the on the landing. Okay, you're on the landing. In between this door and that. So, is it is it just one 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 staircase going up? Yes. Stairwell. Oh, so it's coming towards me. I'm going to have Charles stand Copy. here, and I'm going to say to everyone else. I need for everybody to please roll me initiative. He does not get right. a. Uh, he does not get a uh, a surprise round. Oh my goodness! Well, see you guys in ten years. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's still not doing it, so... What did you get? It is 10. ten. Okay. It looks like it rolled a 20. That's the second time when I actually... Oh. ...pressed my... Okay, well, thank you. That's Madigan, Maresh, EMP, and Breeze. I'm missing one more. Chrissy is 11. Thank you. Chrissy, what's your dexterity uh, score? Dexterity score is four. Okay. Or 18. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> 18. Got it. You're going first. I'm going first? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You see this, uh, you okay. see this dark scale dragonborn at the very top. He's holding a battle axe and wearing the robes of Klangadin. He is, his hands and his wrists are covered in blood. Um, I'm going to, because I can control my zombie or my spiritual weapon as a bonus action, so I'm going to choose to to attack him with my spiritual weapon. Okay. Your spiritual weapon can but move up to 20 feet and around. 20 feet. So it would be right over top of your, uh, of the walrus guy. Charles. Of Charles. Uh, send it back. Um, so roll an attack with your spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon. Uh, 14 does not hit. His hide really? is a lot thicker than that. That's interesting. That's interesting, too. So I'm just going to leave Charles there as like a buffer because he's going to have to get past him to get down here. Mm hmm. And I'm going to move over here. Okay, you do so. Um, Charles is going to act as a buffer. And I'm going to pucker up. Pucker up. That's exactly what you do. Uh, it being right in front of Charles is going to make two attacks. Uh, what, uh, the Sorry. Uh, win second. Three attacks. One, two, three. Mm. Uh, 11, 25, and 23. Um, it is the equivalent of a zombie. So it yeah. is dead. And sh and shattered apart. I'm sorry, I just... Uh, I need to move your spiritual weapon out of the way. But he's gone. After that, this guy is going to okay. jump down. And it's going to flip around and turn in Seamaresh. And it... Uh, as it looks back at you, it just says, It was supposed to be you on my table. Uh, and that is his turn. Breeze, it is now your turn. What are you going to do? I'm going to move to get in melee... Attack. Melee weapon. Yeah, yeah. Melee range. And... Take a swipe with my scimitar. Okay, roll an attack. A crit! Nice! Ooh. Uh, yeah. It definitely hits 10 points of slashing damage. Okay. Bonus action? 
action. <sighs> EMP, you're on deck. I don't have. I don't okay, have EMP, it's your turn. Madigan, you're on deck. You're muted, bud. Okay, so EMP is going to move towards mm -hmm. it. And. Going, he's going to say, You look interesting. Would you allow me to dissect you when you fall? And <laughs> he's going to try to stab it with his rapier. At advantage. That's at correct. advantage, that's correct. Okay. 18 does hit uh, for 13 points of damage. And, and he is because of surgical because precision. of surgical precision. He is now bleeding with that much more damage. Uh, it's already included. With that, it's the second number. Ah, so okay. I just can't change a rogue's uh, stats in D and D Beyond because I can't make a class. I can only make a subclass. So if you're Got using it. the attack, it's considered sneak attack. Okay. Okay. Uh, bonus action. No worries. Nope. Uh, he will Got stay it. Madigan, it's now your turn. I am. Uh, my spiritual weapon probably would have dropped by now, so I'm going to cast it ah. again. It's alright. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can control it, so move it wherever you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and. He's, he's, he's cheering you so... on. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's so adorable. Um, so Good. I I can't quite tell from like the rooms where I'm at. Am am I actually within melee range You're of right the creature? Okay. Then for my action, I am going to go ahead and try to attack with my. It, it's not a sword. Okay. Uh, fifteen unfortunately does not hit. Uh, and I'm gonna stay right there. Okay. Is everybody getting advantage here? Uh, the spiritual <laughs> weapon also, unfortunately, does not hit. And um, just Breeze and EMP, and that's it. Maresh, it's now your turn. Okay. Will the spiritual weapon get advantage because I'm on the other side? Yes, roll again. Okay. Sorry. Maresh, go ahead. If it, if it, <laughs> if it shows up, after. then that's fine. Sorry, I got to... <laughs> we have to end a little uh, in just a little bit, so I'm kind of rushing. Uh, 14. Uh, Maresh, go ahead. It's your turn. I'll say, come get some then, Dragon Hulk. And I'll fire a barrage of magic missile. <laughs> magic missile, okay. So they all definitely hit. That's two, that's five, that's eight. Uh, just a level one spell? Yes. Eight points of force damage. Okay. Uh, movement, bonus action. I will move back here into Got the it. corner. Chrissy. And that uh... Yes. Oh my goodness. Definitely hits. Uh, 12 points of force damage. Um, And that was... Ritual weapon is a bonus action to, to attack? Uh, bonus action, yes. Yes. Yeah. Bonus action to attack action with a big white flame. Okay, dexterity saving throw. Do I have a dex? I don't. Uh, four. No, nope. points of radiant damage. Eight points of radiant. He's damage. pretty bloody. Oh, that's it. Got I'm it. Good. Uh, it is now his turn. He, uh, not liking his odds, <laughs> uh, is going to make uh, three attacks. Uh, EMP, you're one and two. Madigan, you're three and four. Breeze, you're five and six. Okay. Jeez. All three oh, against EMP. Okay. 2017 and 13. Uh, 
uh, 20 and 17 hit 13. Uh, 21 points of slashing damage total. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he is going to try to barrel past you. So, Madigan, EMP, Breeze. Uh, you all get attacks of opportunity. EMP, I need for you to roll me an acro athletics or acrobatics check. Uh, whichever you choose. Athletics if you're trying to stop him. Acrobatics if you're trying to get out of the way. I'll do athletics. Okay. Yeah, ah, you're not going, not anywhere, going anywhere. Nope, you stop him. <laughs> then... Attack of opportunity. Uh, Breeze and Madigan, you still get it. Can I use a touch as my um, attack of opportunity? Then yes, yes you I can. Am. Nerve pulse. <laughs> oh, okay, roll me, a, roll me an attack. This is um, this is a spell attack. It's on the top of your spells. Okay. A 13, unfortunately, will not hit. So this, uh, unfortunately, this spell is used. Okay. So uh, I think that's it for me. Then, Breeze, if you want to make an attack of opportunity, you can, but it's also your turn. I do want to take the attack of opportunity. Okay. I'm going to swipe at it with my... Oop. Okay, so the first one fails. Now you have your turn. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Okay. Well, you actually didn't roll. So this one is at advantage, but that one still hits. So let's see if you crit. Yes. So one more. Okay. Okay, so three points of slashing damage. Uh, bonus action. Um, bonus action. It says I could do actions and. Two weapon fighting. Do you have a light weapon in your other hand? Let's just say you do. Go ahead and roll another scimitar attack. Yeah. Okay, that one unfortunately misses. Um, okay. So, uh, unless you're going to move... Healing Yodel on EMP. 1d4. Three points of healing. Uh, EMP, nice. it is now your turn. So when EMP stops him, he says, Was it something I said? Let me rephrase. I will dissect you when you fall. <laughs> I need <laughs> test subjects to prepare for further healing. Okay. Yes. With this 22 here. definitely hits for 10 points of damage. Oh, and he also bleeds two damage. And he also bleeds two more damage, that is true. Uh, so now he bleeds for four points of damage per turn. Uh, bonus action? I do not. Okay, Madigan, it's now your turn. One more time with um, my weapon. Okay. Unfortunately, that misses. But try it with your spiritual weapon at advantage. All right. Sixteen does hit. Nine points of force damage. He's barely hanging on. Movements. No. Naresh, now your turn. Take the kill shot. We're gonna go for a second level magic missile. Go for it, man. Three, six, nine, uh, thirteen. Three, six, nine. Poetic justice. How do you want to do this? I will shoot all four of them straight through where his heart. Okay, you absolutely do. You blast him. <laughs> And at the end of him, you watch the last one just And you can see through his chest and through his robes. And you watch it Falls over dead. EMP goes, thank you for your non-compliance. Though I cannot use the body anymore. 
Okay, knowledge. Chris is as well. Very, very nice. <laughs> knowledge domain, can you please send me the uh, EXP for each of the slithering trackers? And uh, this guy that you just fought, he uh, was a boss. He is worth uh, uh, 1,700 experience. Um, so mm -hmm. I will calculate all of that up as soon as possible. Um, I don't have a slithering tracker available right here, but I'm getting close to the time when I must uh, raid over to Critical Role. So uh, thank you guys so very, very much. I'm so sorry about the technical issue. I'm going to get this fixed, even if I have to go get a new headset, which is probably how it's going to work. Sounds good. Uh, Actually, the popping's gone. I am, yeah, it's my been arm great. is almost frozen because it's so stiff holding this thing. <laughs> I've been doing that ever since. Um, so 700 EXP each. You killed four of them. So 700 times four, that's 2,800 plus 1,700. That is 4,500 divided by five, which is 900. You each get 900 experience points. And the caravan gets 4,500 added onto it. Ooh. Oh, so close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Maresh, you uh, did so well. I'm going to add, be adding on a little bit more to you. Um, please look in your character sheets for that. Since this was not searched out completely, I am going to leave this open for the next Vanguard if they decide that they want to search this out. This could be something that you could do in the very beginning of the session because um, there is other things that are here. Uh, but I got a little bit slowed up. So next time, I'll make sure that we uh, find different ways to sort of speed things along. Uh, but you guys did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. Thank you all so much. Thank you very much to our uh, Vanguard. Thank you very, very much to our Ravenous, who did an incredible job uh, keeping, on, keeping on brand. And now that it seems like uh, you all have been targeted by somebody. So as you guys... Uh, as you guys peace out of this, uh, you all are going to uh, <laughs> let the party know that now this place looks pretty okay, but you still don't know the whole mystery of it. So when you get back, this is something that your next Vanguard can explore in the beginning of the session. Uh, until then, can we? Oh, yeah. Uh, until <laughs> then, uh, you can join in order to become a member of our Vanguard or become a member of our Ravenous by going to our Discord link up here. And also, um, I am going to switch this over really quick uh, to just the camera. Uh, okay, maybe not. Well, I thought it was going to do that. Well, never mind. Oh, come on, OBS. Work with me here. Better. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> so you guys are just going to see some stuff. Uh, Berserkus on Twitch. Here we go. I'm going to go to the giveaways right now. So you guys are going to see all of our names uh, change. Roll. Uh, D100. And I rolled a 29 for the, uh, mm -hmm. for the giveaway. So whoever is the closest to 29 for the giveaway is going to receive it. Um, I will get with that person in a private message. And I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I know that I did. Um, congratulations for knocking out the house that killed everyone else. Uh, and also, wonderful luck to Madigan Vaughn, who uh, drew the card that levels everybody else up. Or, sorry, that levels you up. Uh, raid. Critical roll. All right. So we're getting ready to do that to get you guys some more trouble bubbles. Thank you guys very, very much for joining. Um, the next Vanguard is hopefully going to happen, but I am getting married next week. So just check oh. out. Um, maybe I will run this. Maybe I won't. I hope that you guys... If you need a week... I hope that you guys are okay with it that. It would be understandable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Please take Yeah, take but it just for in case. Yeah. Uh, but thank you guys very, very much. Have a wonderful, wonderful night, and all the best to you. Take care. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Okay, so give me just a